five. Hello. Hello. Greetings. We are back at the lovely <laughs> bygone keep uh, section of or portion campaign portion of the legacy campaign. Uh, I will get into the backstory in just a moment, but I am going to introduce my lovely cast, starting with the hot t- uh, the hot tub enthusiasts, the one and only. The Booty Master, Joe. I don't, I don't like this slowly accumulated <laughs> list of nicknames. They're painting me to be a very seedy individual. <laughs> that's so that dwarf is looking at you like that. That's, that's true. Not, so, like, that's the not great for me. The makes it sound like all he wants to do is watch. <laughs> Sorry, I mean, just stay in the hot tub. Like, I, I should have just said, mm, yeah. In response <laughs> to hot tub enthusiasts. And then everyone should have stopped watching. That is the sequence of events. Uh, hi, I've delayed talking about myself now to question nicknames. My name is Joe, and I'm playing Branigan, the dwarf cleric who is not a paladin. And we're having a grand old time because they keep inviting me to come do stuff because the Foo's crew is great all around. But I'm also on the internet sometimes on Sundays at Dispel Logic on Twitch, where we also play Dungeons and Dragons, and we're pretty swell too. Uh, but but uh, but yeah, you say things. <laughs> All right, I have to follow that. Wow. Okay. Hi, call me Kit. I am playing the character behind me. That's Coraline. Um, I feel like a dick because I never said who drew that for me. That was the lovely food. She's in that direction for me. Um. <laughs> Sorry about that. Good, thank you. No, uh, you're good. Well, you've now inver- inadvertently called me a dick because Foos drew my art and it's incredible. <laughs> also. Thank you, thank you. Oh, um, she is a very, very small human being um, and uh, yeah, um, can easily, you know, just be blown back by like the smallest thing ever. Somehow she managed to save our monk last time, which is fucking weird, but okay. Um... Yeah, I have an accent for her. I've been a little sick, though, so we'll see if I can keep doing that. Uh, yeah, we'll see how it goes. I need Taste to damage your throat. I thought mm. you went foos when you said how small your right. sister was. I'm that was. tiny woman. How dare and you? And I was like, that's just bold to be talking about people. I am a wild sizes. five foot eight inches tall. Foos is as big <laughs> as she's got to be. That is tall <laughs> for Mexican women. I'll have you know that. Anyway. Oh, I know. My mom's 5'2", and my dad's 5'7", so... Anyway, she's the tallest uh, female in our family by miles. But I'm sorry, you were saying <laughs> it's Anita's turn. I'm Anita, please. I'm sorry. Um, if I may, hey everybody, hey internet, Anita's here. Oh gosh, I'm feeling so tired and spacey, and I have to play a wizard now with so many spells. It'll be great. Um, oh god, yeah, roll twenty is a thing that I need to like open. Uh, to be able to do things. Uh, we'll figure that out when we get there. Right now, I'm going to play Effie Twist Tremble, uh, courtesy of Dijarn Pit Crew. Um, like, I chose the, like, little options on the Pit Crew, but Dijarn made the Pit Crew. Uh, and now you get, now you get this, this chick. She's great. Um, she's a little evil. We'll find out. Um, but yes, you can find Anita at Anita the Lesbian. Um, and you can find Anita on Sundays doing a GM thing uh, where I'm playing like a sort of campaign that's like a revenge sort of thing. Um, like the main character PCs uh, are like the coven of the Wicked Witch of the East, Eveline, uh, and they gotta go hunt down the bitch that killed their mother and stole her shoes. Um, It's great. Tune in on Sundays at 1 o'clock Eastern time to find out what happens. Um, And And that's... that's TRPG, right? T-T-R-P-G. Yes. Uh, It's like T the drink and then T-R-P-G. Um, thank you so much, Booz. I didn't tell the people where to find me at. Um, no worries. It's okay, I didn't tell them what time to find me. So. <laughs> it's A-OK. You them on Sunday. That's a time. It's, it's part of a time. But it's We're making time, it work. I mean. 
They can stick around for a minute. Um, <laughs> Fizz, take it away. <laughs> All right. Hello. Also, uh, everyone, every link and such that people are saying, uh, it's in chat. So if you want to go check out the P Crew or the other channels, you can find some of this, these lovely people. Uh, make sure to check out the links in chat. Um, but yes, hello. I am Fuz. Uh, for this lovely adventure, I am playing uh, Murida, otherwise known as Moody. Uh, he is a vengeance paladin. Uh, who has a really cool spear, and I'm so excited to use it. Uh, <laughs> we finally got a little bit of combat. Not finally. We're two episodes in, and we got a little combat. I'm just hyped. I'm just hyped to be here. We're going to be fighting a devil centaur, and this is this is exciting. So, um, on a magic carriage ride. So, with all those things out of the way, uh, I believe our dear uh, sickly Maya has not introduced herself yet. So, Maya, <laughs> let the people know where they can find you. Hello, and what you're doing. I am Maya. I am also sickly. That's my answer. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> uh, my lovely peaker art is done by Lynn Nalissa. Uh, and I play Mauricio Crestholm, a uh, lunar soul monk. Uh, basically a sun soul. Repaint it because the silver is cool. Uh, <clears throat> uh, she's kind of an investigative type and is out here because she's naturally drawn to weird crazy paranormal shit going on in the world um unlike effie not evil uh in fact don't be evil that bad <laughs> that's what happens when you're evil a bad uh <laughs> um wow i had more words to say until the mic was passed to me and then my brain malfunctioned that's how it um, goes. i am also spacey and lost uh so with that in mind I'm going to pass it over to a person who hasn't had the. What, is it Nenners? Yeah, it's Nenners. <laughs> yeah. Nenners has be it. well machine tonight, boys. <laughs> it's Friday, but Wednesday. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. I was like, oh no, did we lose I'm you already? I'm concerned for my cast here, given the uh, mental status of some of you <laughs> going into this fight. But um, I'm hoping instinct and good immersion will pull through. This is the lovely Bygone Keep, where a team of uh, elite Knightly Order type people, uh, with the exception of a couple, have been assembled <laughs> with the idea of uh, taking on some kind of big threats that have literally just manifested. Uh, they are going to a keep that has been forgotten by time, made by a house that was... Uh, a survivor of the Myth Draenor disaster uh, and has a couple of Edmunds in it and elements of magic control and ley lines and all kinds of fun jazz. We won't get too far into it, but uh, their quest so far has, they haven't even gotten to the keep yet. They're in en route and have been chased by this hellish minot uh, minotaur, centaur, excuse me, uh, with a lance and a whip uh, with a, with no shortage of hellhounds apparently that follow in its wake. In addition to that, they were recently uh, had to negotiate an obstacle in the road and decided at that point, uh, with one of them falling off and a couple of other kind of checks that needed to be made, that they were just going to kind of make their stand here. So uh, they were dealing with some of uh, what looks like really odd flying imps um, that they very quickly dispatched uh, before they even really got into range. Oh, good job there. But uh, they've decided to take their stand. They've, they've parked the, 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 the cart with the celestial horses not too far off the road and uh, are, are looking to deal with this centaur. So that's where we find ourselves. I believe uh, initiative has been rolled. There's still one imp left. And I think... Oh, there's my sister, bottom of the turn order. That's where she belongs. Hey, uh, listen, and I will... I, you don't need to bring up old shit like that. <laughs> oh, God. Yeah, I, of course. <laughs> a nice a nice three. to A to nice three. three, absolutely. Yeah. Uh, that's we'll what we're looking for. Zero, but not quite. <laughs> not quite. We, you, were, you were going for it, but didn't, didn't quite get there. <laughs> uh, that all being said, we're going to continue here. Uh, I'm going to have the imp that was hiding in the woods take his action. Uh, Wait, didn't you get impaled like 42 times? There's two. Uh, the two. The, I don't think you hit the third. Let me just double check. Yeah, I thought the third one hadn't been touched yet, but he hadn't oh, been touched hadn't as known. far as hadn't. I got. Yeah. Don't mind me. Um, I'm fucked up. The, uh, <laughs> the, the second. Um, the, the imps are flying 30 feet off the ground, right? Uh, Yes, roughly. Okay, just making sure. Thank you. Yep. 
Uh, what is this thing's movement? Uh, okay. You can go for it. Uh, Joe, I, well, I guess, because he is moving through your space. Um, you gotta, you, you gotta see as the, the imp kind of, like, shoots out of the trees with a kind of a burst of, uh, leaves and just lets off his, like, high-pitched screech as it begins to dive down towards these two here, but eventually goes for the smaller of the two, uh, the monk. Uh, Joe, I'll say you can get an attack of opportunity as it comes in, uh, but it is coming in with, like, feet out. Uh, I also need them to make a wisdom saving throw as they enter the aura of hags and spiders. Excellent. Let's go. Uh, Wisdom saving throw. These guys are awesome at that. Not advantage. (laughs) You can ignore that. Uh, Yep, that's a solid 11. I imagine at this level that is an absolute fail. That is an absolute fail. Um, Gosh. Like... What did I cast the spell at? I think I cast it at fourth level. I did. I did cast it at fourth level. Because I, yes. Uh, So let me just click the comment bubble for spirit guardians. And then click the name, and then the name should roll it out. I might ask you what level. Yeah, there you go. Awesome. Okay. So it's 13 and then 18. So, yep. 31 points of damage just moving in here. (laughs) I I think Polar Master lets me smack him as he's coming in too close. Uh, Uh, It is coming from an up. Can link it real quick? While you are wielding a glaive, Halberd, Pike, or Quarterstaff, other creatures provoking opportunity attack when they enter the reach you have with that weapon. Ooh, okay. Yeah, give it give me a attack roll. Did you take that a hit? bonus action? <laughs> hmm. What is that damage? <laughs> Did it take this bonus damage? No, that 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 works. Uh let's see. Yeah. Alright, so it's you it gets slashed, it gets hit by <laughs> the uh the the Spirit Guardians, and then gets thwacked by what I believe is a staff on the way in to attack. It is it is very battered. It does not look nearly oh. as healthy as it did. Also, it's radiant damage. That's the aura, if that Ooh, counts for anything. That does count for a lot. <laughs> These things do not like radiant. Last oh, I rolled a one on that damage. That's why it's so trash. Is it going to get yeah. crisped on the way in? Good God. Like, fricasseed? It's, uh, hold on. Plus that. It's double the 13. Yep. Uh, yeah, it comes in and is pretty much like a burning heap as it gets hit and slashed at on the way in. Uh, it kind of lands in a likely two different piles of just burning... <laughs> devil flesh uh, on the side of you. But um, yeah, that was its action. So uh, that pretty much pulls us out of combat for now because I believe the other ones were dead. So let me erase those guys. Actually, I'm just going to clear the whole thing here. And say that you guys have roughly I think 30-ish seconds before this centaur is upon you. Uh, You could feel it at this point more than you could see it. But yeah. I'm sorry. Its action was to fly into a circle of hags, spiders, and like, weapons and yes. die. That was its action. <laughs> well, it was trying to pick up the monk and then drop it somewhere, um, but it didn't quite. These these creatures aren't very intelligent, so um, <laughs> They yeah, activated it's... your trap card. They did. They did. <laughs> That's hilarious. You think it hurt, yeah, like, thank you so much. Music in its head when it came up that brilliant plan and flew in. Yeah, no, it, uh, it, it obviously wasn't the smartest thing to do, but um, it's not the smartest creatures, unfortunately. So <laughs> they, they, uh, they're also probably not used to a crew of gangsters basically rolling through the forest. You know, it's usually just some lost little peasants who have no idea and are terrified by seeing them and not these hardened, holy badasses who <laughs> just shoot people out of the sky. So there, there's that element of it as well. Um, but yes, like I said, you guys have 30 seconds to prepare and it will be on you. So I'll be nice and give you a minute and 30 
in real time to kind of figure out what you want to do. Just okay. to add a little bit of pressure. All right, and... uh, Don Donario, can I step over here into the into the into the trees right here? Yep. Anything you can do with an action within thirty seconds, mm -hmm. you can do. Don't need to right. clarify that for me. Um, next thing I need to know is how's the lighting there? Shitty. It's mid. It's it's moon. It's moonlight coming down. So if you're in the trees, it's it's it was dim light. Now it's like really dim light. Okay. So you're in shadows. You're definitely in shadows. Don't we have the uh, uh maybe we can move the lights over to them so they can. I mean, see. my light is on the hammer. Oh. Oh. I believe okay. she moved there because it was dark. I'm not. Oh. That was the idea. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. So uh, clock's ticking. Give me. Give... Um. All right. Basically, Effie wants to get ready for another uh, cone of cold because there are dogs over there and the dogs really didn't like the cold. So it's going to try to like be at the front line so nobody else gets in the thing. And then she's going to look over at like the dwarves, two dwarves, and be like, good idea. Uh, and cast me her image on herself. Uh, and that's. That's the that's the turn. Okay. Um. So. Hey, you already went. We'll go back to you. Hmm? You already went. The other. What else are you guys doing? Well, we'll talk about what you're doing mm -hmm. in a second. But mm -hmm. Sorry, I've posted up just at the last possible moment. I'm gonna cast spiritual weapon. So if you happen to have a token for a hammer, that'd be great. But. <laughs> okay, so spiritual weapon uh, posted up where you are. Okay, great. Yeah. Uh, can you get rid of the, the, the default token that's out there? And uh, Moody is just trying to post up in front of everybody and then seeing everyone come up. He's like, could you just you need to form lines or something? <laughs> yeah, well, you move up. I was, I'm going to move up next. <laughs> <laughs> you moved up. I was like, yeah, like, play on my wall. 100%. <laughs> All right. They're um, looking to take the charge. He's Marcia. just kind of like almost Spartan hanging with the, the shield and the spear over it. But good. Mauricio is basically watching the charge coming in and adjusting herself so that she can basically clothesline him in the face with her staff when he rushes in. So she's trying to position herself off to the side for that. For the record, this thing's face is probably 20 feet in the air. Oh, then she's going for them ankles. Okay. Gotcha. <laughs> I, you're a monk. You can try to do some pole vault smack stuff, but I just, yeah, it's not it's not easily reachable, <laughs> uh, especially with the short stack crew you guys got. Uh, she going from the mangles. So your position. We'll go back to you, Kit. What were you doing? Um. So if anyone was looking at her, she just disappears. Uh. Did you roll your stealth checkies? Yeah, I'm going to do it right now. And okay. we're going to we're going to try and hide in the trees here. Okay. Good roll. Good roll. Good roll. Oh, you nope. see, you did the Joe. You described it before you rolled. Nope. Yep, and, yep. and the narrative punished you. Yeah. Uh, anyone you with you above a above like... 16 stealth or a passive perception has seen you go into the next wheel sees you. She's All like, right. okay. I'm next to you. <laughs> All right. Uh, as you guys kind of scramble off and begin to form what is kind of like a loose phalanx going on here. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Also, like, Foos, Moody is hearing in, in their mind, like, I'm about to. Like maybe not like be right in front of me. I'm about to like cut off a cone. <laughs> uh, I can't really control the cone once it's coning. Um, <laughs> I think he's gonna be like stand next to the monk. Then <laughs> uh, this thing moves very fast. I'm not trying to have our wizard get trampled. Like she she's fine she'll she'll tell you that she's fine uh and like try to just move up to match like pace with you so just like don't i'm fine <laughs> there's a slight like shield kind of hovering in your direction <laughs> she's, like, waiting. oh my god can i do what i need to do <laughs> you have plenty of movement in your hands it's just like i'm scared all right it is very you are seeing this massive creature now barreling down on you dust some brambles really big chunks of trees that are still kind of on it like bouncing off as it continues to run at you Lance is now beginning to level down at you. It is beginning to lower kind of its thing. It's beginning to kind of get that whip going as it is about to clash with you and your party. Uh, everybody roll initiative to see who goes first with this thing collides. How about that? Can I throw a hammer at it while it's on its way in? <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's your... 
I got a 2060 range. If I if, if no, then no, it's fine. My issue is it's traveling so fast. I was gonna say he's moving that real quick. So that that's if you want to burn a reaction, I'll say you can do that. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Uh, okay, so we're all doing initiatives. <laughs> I just like it's my man. That's the highest initiative I'm gonna have all game, baby. <laughs> <laughs> Ah, my rolls never leave. Uh, me, okay. me. I have a negative two to my initiative, but you beat me. Yeah, I have negative one. <laughs> nice. That's amazing. All right. So as the thing is crashing in, Corlin, you are able to move first. Yeah, obviously, full turn. This is full on initiative. So this is you guys are attacking as this thing is coming in. Uh, okay. Can you add right click and add Effie to the list because uh, I, I don't think it went through. Just to make sure. Oh, sure, that sure. She's on that. <laughs> I saw the panic and I was like, "It's okay, I need it to work." <laughs> get you on that. All right, we're gonna move a little bit closer so we can actually get some hits on it, and then we're I just make. Just tell me if I, if I can actually do this. Uh, we're gonna get some hits in, move back, and hide. Is it where we see it on the map? Like just about. Uh, like, I would or? say. For the sake of, oh, man, I probably should have thought about this before I did it. I'm gonna mm -hmm. sc scooch all you guys back a little bit, and sure. you can adjust if needed. I'm not gonna apply any kind of things towards you, but I would say, uh, yeah, that's about right. So that's essentially what it's going to traverse here in a second. Okay, <laughs> it's about 120 feet away. So. All right. In that case, we can, we're just going to do some preparing here, then. Hmm. What can I do? What can I do? Okay. We are going to move go. this way, and we are going to take the height action. You okay, so you, him, aren't you? I'm sorry? You are, you're already hidden, but I mean, I guess... Wait, we're trying to hide better. Oh. Okay, so you go to a different hiding spot. Got it. So give, yeah. give me a roll. Come on, come on, come on. I have a good bonus for this goddamn. I, I couldn't help but notice he didn't ah. describe how you were going to hide before you did it. Yeah. <laughs> oh, we are hiding behind the limbs of the trees and using the foliage. It's a, it's foliage. a bit better than it was the foliage? before. Foliage? 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 Fo foliage. Foliage. Oh, I thought you were just being... I, I, I don't mean to make fun of the way you pronounce things. You're fine. I thought that you were just saying that on purpose. Yes, okay. All right. Okay. So she that is... She does me all the time. And you're good. Yeah. For sure. Uh, Moody, it is your turn. Oh, God, I forgot. I got real good. Uh, <laughs> I, was like, I was looking at my spells like, hmm. Uh, let's see, let's see. I'm just double checking something. Yeah, okay. Um, as the, everyone's sort of getting ready and he's in uh, his stance, uh, he's going to just sort of tap his ether spear on the ground and it's going to start to kind of uh, erupt at the end and kind of glow a little brightly. Uh, he's casting Branding Smite on his weapon as his bonus action. Now he's just kind of waiting. Uh, but that's that's his turn. Holding your action to attack, is that the idea? Yeah. Okay. Exactly. Awesome. Could have done that. Mm -mm. Uh, Mar Marciel. Too many vowels. It's up Marciel. to you. <laughs> that was great. It's up to you. <laughs> Sorry, I was just checking the range on this dude. Um, Alright, yeah, seeing that he's coming in that way, uh, she's gonna back up even further because that's a big bitch, and she like miscalculated from a distance. <laughs> she's just gonna back up to pretty much uh, instead of trying to clothesline his legs, um, she's gonna step back a bit. Uh, and once he's close enough, uh, within thirty feet, she's going to just boost a whole bunch of those uh, those uh, radiant radiant lunar strikes. <laughs> so wind up and get ready to go. Okay, great. Um, that is we're waiting there. Uh, so at that point, the Master of Hounds is going to close in uh, using all of his movement, essentially, to get to you guys. Uh, he is going to attack with a trample. I need everybody... Why did that not... What? Did I roll that bad? Or did you just didn't apply any... Okay, didn't apply anything. Okay. That was a natural 18 for the plus, first one. Yeah, that... It's like a 25? No, I'm wrong. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's higher than also, that. Also, I was, I was saving my attack, so can I, can I roll when he comes in? 
Yes, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. It's a uh, 27 to hit, essentially, and it's a 15 foot. Ooh. It's his whole width because he's running you all over. If that hits you, I will need a dexterity saving throw of DC 17 <laughs> to avoid being completely like run over and then trampled as you get run over, essentially. Is that nice? Yes. How does this interact with mirror image? Nice, Joe. Yes. <laughs> Mr. Negative. Could you like uh, mirror image real quick? I just want to get the wording right. <laughs> I uh, yes. I'm oh, sorry. Joe just rolled a fucking 19 with a negative two. Was, I had to get a 19 or a 20 to make that save. <laughs> yeah. Well, also you're in my aura, so you would get a plus four. Right. But what either way, either way, this is good. Uh, yeah, I'm super fucked. Pardon me. Uh, yeah. Oh. You're, you're in your own aura, though. You're in your own aura. I know. That's where the three comes from. I know. I'm fucking with you. I know. <laughs> The negatives can be rough. Targets you with an attack during the spell. Uh, I'll I say for this. I feel like it's, it's an attack roll. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. Get, uh, roll, roll your uh, smear image die there. Let's go. No. Oh, <laughs> oh, <yeah>. no. <laughs> The fear of oh, me is... making the deck save this... and you not getting a mirror image. Oh, that is exactly goodness. why Moody was like, "Don't stand next to me. Then just stand like five feet off in that direction." <laughs> that is so good. I just have this image of all of my mirror images just being like, "Nope," and <laughs> getting on me. Um... <laughs> so y'all start running in opposite directions, and you just get hit. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Let, uh, let me watch... make a deck save. <laughs> yeah. Um. Yes. Yeah. Uh, add plus four to it because you're my aura. Um, the other thing is, Nunners did the. I imagine the 17 didn't hit, but the 23 might have. Uh, let me see. 17 missed. Correct. 23 did hit. Okay, cool. Take that, uh, so bitch. Um, and then also. Radiant. Got it. Yep, yep, yep. And then he also is branded smited. Uh, so hold on one second. Some good uh, stuff so he for takes that. an extra 2d6 on top of that. Ignore the two radiant above it. Oh my god, that's a three and a one for four extra points of radiant damage. Um, he is now also uh, shedding dim light for five feet. And, and I'm sure he does not, but uh, he cannot turn invisible. <laughs> okay, Just to keep it. All right. You've got four uh, attacks coming in. She's going to. Can't she uh, no, no, that, that, we're not done. This is attack one. <laughs> huh? Um, no. It's still his turn. What? Are you, are you holding your attack? attacks as he was coming in? She was ready that shit. Oh, I thought she you were like going next. Okay, attack. yeah, yeah. We're, you can make one attack. Oh, just. That's yeah, held action is one attack. Yep. Even as a monk, you, you don't get that oh, action. Oh, yeah. I don't think monks get extra. I could be wrong. They, no, yeah, they do. Well, you get extra attacks on your turn, but readying mm -hmm. an action is a reaction. So you're not taking uh, the attack action, you're readying a reaction attack. Oh. There's uh, a lot of verbiage that fucks you on economy right here. But you get yeah, you get one attack and it's still good. Yeah. That's that's a lot that was unsaid. <laughs> well, the description of how that works. Uh so yeah. Uh, He's a big boy, eighteen could hit. 18 rage it, it hits the like the, it makes physical contact but just kind of bounces off uh oh, into the back because it does guy. not actually find purchase on its creature's hide uh um, those of you who i'm sorry also when it like gets into my aura it's difficult to rain for it and it's getting getting bit up by radiant spiders uh and, <laughs> and witches uh so it needs to make a wisdom save okay yeah and it's also difficult to rain to like run through us. So yeah, this guy's movement uh, is like four thousand. <laughs> yes, we like those low numbers. Yep. Uh, so it does get hit by your thing. Give me the numbers for that. And while I do that, I'll, those of you who did not fail the save and just took the hit, the, the just brutal smashing of it into your wine, you took eighteen points of damage. Uh, those of you who failed the save take an additional nine, so twenty-seven altogether, uh, and you are knocked prone. So anybody who failed is prone uh, and caught a hoof to the head on the way over. <laughs> Hello, <laughs> Question. Yes. Would every, did he just hit us because that we were the target or was it everybody in his path? Everybody in his path gets 
basically the, he so, didn't roll to hit my echo oh. okay it is technically in the path would it would a 27 hit your echo oh it easily so it's just dead okay. so I, I, I was just double checking that it was gotcha. going to continue on Oh, yeah. no. uh, that's 22 points of radiant damage, Nunners. Nice. Holy shit. Okay, yeah. The radiant burns. Uh, those damn little, it, uh, <laughs> Nunners, you have a D4 DM inspiration. Oh, yes. I did it. <laughs> <laughs> you see the initiative of the four bastards? <laughs> Thanks. Oh, uh, yeah, damn it, Insomnia. Uh, what the hell was I going to say? Yeah, so the, the trample goes off. He, it gets hit by a bunch of oddly radiant hags <laughs> and little weapons and stuff, uh, which does burn a little bit into. We see that actually land on its, its skin, uh, and it is it lets out a bit of a grunt as a uh, it, it is now mired in some kind of weird, difficult terrain thing and uh, getting kind of pecked at at the moment. Uh, but that is the initial attack. Uh, did you hide, Marcial? When you went in the woods? Maya? What? Did you hide? No. She was okay. super far off. All right. So after it tramples in, it turns and sees the unhidden monk and it just unleashes with its whip. Uh, Actually, as a... uh, <laughs> don't no, worry. I rolled you good. Uh, <laughs> okay, I'm so confused. it does not have an advantage. I got to turn the stupid toggle off. And then. That was two and a four. That was two and a four. Yeah, I'm killing it. Thank you. This is why I need it. That is the end of its turn for now. Uh, Effie, you get to go. Again, you are prone, but other than that, and maybe a I long passed my save with a plus four from the Charisma Paladin. Oh, never mind. You don't take, so get nine back and you're... Uh, I'm good yeah. for narrative flair. Uh, said that he, wait, <laughs> when he had a shield on. out, that's how he got trampled. <laughs> Weren't you ready yeah. your cone of cold, Anita? Uh, when I saw dogs, and I don't see any dogs. Uh, the dogs are far behind. They're not as exactly, fast, so yeah. they'll be coming. Yeah. You can see them kind of on the horizon. I'll put them on the map. Um, and, yeah, I also <laughs> rolled a six and an eight total, uh, but I get the plus four still for con saves from the paladin, <laughs> right? So yes. I should be yeah, able to keep my safe. spirit Correct. guardians. Uh, so great. I got my spirit guardians, and I love that for me. Um, <laughs> gosh. Yeah, okay. Oof. Run it back, run it back, run it back. Wait for my thing to load. I have spells that I can use, and I don't see any dogs, so I, I can't use the cold spell. Um, I was the only one to get to fail the save, right? So he just went through the middle, and I just was like... <laughs> like the other two on the sides are fine. Yep. Oh, that's hilarious. Yeah. Uh, gosh. Uh, what? What is this? What do I do? Um. You're good. You're take your time. Don't rush. Fireball. Fuck. Uh, oh, I wow. did not take. There we go. Uh, I did not take the fireball spell. Well, um, you it's a, you're a wizard, though. Fireball. It's like iconic. Come on. It, no. It's, yeah. It's oh, gosh. Okay. I don't really have any melee spells except for Booming Blade. I'm going to try and stab them with my dagger. Um, because they're right next to me, right? Yeah, they are right next to you. It, tramp okay. it had just enough movement to trample and go five feet. <laughs> So. Love that for us. Uh, so yeah, I'm gonna stab him. I'm gonna stab him really hard. Um, so that is a normal roll. Just plus. Yeah, I I got a good stab roll. I get plus eight. Let's see. Twenty one. Twenty one. Misses as Ooh, your God stab damn. goes in, it like the, the tip of the hits it and it just slides off the surprisingly thick hide. It's a chunky that voice. Is, um, that's mean. That's <laughs> that was uncalled for. I'm sorry. No, nice. Um, yeah, I I used my I used my action to stab. And I'm a wizard, so yeah. I don't use my action to make weapon attacks, and this is the reason. 
So that's my entire turn. I'm going to stay here. Um, so that, like the spirit guardians, stay up in their business. But yeah, that's it. Uh, it's going to use its legendary action after your attempted stab to lance the dwarf uh, as it brings it around in its left hand and just like lunges straight down at a pretty vicious angle, uh, mm -hmm. which is a 21 to hit, sir. I believe it that misses. Not. It miss. Indeed. Uh, as it Let's misses, bangs into the ground. Uh, you hear the just kind of a retort as the the like the steam blackish kind of smoke that it comes out of its flaring nostrils. Uh, that is the end of its legendary. Brennigan, it is yours. All right. Well, my bonus action: bring my boy back. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta get the Echo Boys out. All right. I'm just debating on whether I want to burn action surge this early, and I don't think I do. So uh, I'm just gonna double up on just a shield. <laughs> I don't know. Can I? I can't probably use my action to attack and help uh, the paladin up, right? Uh, no. Unless you're gonna use the paladin as part of your attack. <laughs> <laughs> nah, it'd be great. No, visually, the Echo throws the hammer. So in my head, I'm like, well, I got these other hands that I ain't throwing hammers. So, <laughs> nah, it works. <laughs> these other hands. We're all made, no time for napping. <laughs> uh, just, ah! <laughs> on the ground. And we gonna wish we had advantage, because I roll, like, crud. Let's go, let's go. Jeez, god dang it. 22? 22 does hit. The uh, yeah! you were that close. <laughs> <laughs> mm. All right. Well, that one then. It is thrown, so it gets the thrown bonus. And I wish it was giant of the size category, because I think he qualifies, but I'm pretty sure it's actual giant. So that's just 15 damage. Okay. <laughs> it is actual giant. <laughs> but it does take. Was any of that radiant, or was it just all. Uh, no, it's, uh, okay. it's all bludgeoning. Got it, got it. Let me take some... All right. So the. Hitting them with the axe, it actually bites into the the hide for a moment. Uh, did yours come back, or do you? Uh... Oh yeah, it's the dwarven thrower. So it's just it it missed. It came, came boomerang around, and then just thudded off his chest, awesome. and I caught it again. Or well, really, the echo did because that's how echo makes work. But yeah, awesome. All right, anything else you want to do on your turn, sir? Uh, raise my shield for an extra bit of AC. That's how it works, <laughs> right? Do you just that's get a bonus? Exactly no, <laughs> I wish. Uh, Carlin. All right. So the question I have for Wait, you, Nanus. Can I skip somebody? Hold on. Okay. Sorry. I'm so used to Foos being at the bottom that seeing her at the top, I was like, I fucked up. <laughs> no, you're good. I'm sorry. Go ahead. All right. All right. All right. All right. So the question I have for you, for you right now is obvious. Do I have advantage if I attack him from here? Um, he's engaged in melee, so I would say yes. He's engaged in melee with at least three people. So yeah. Fantastic. Okay. Let's try and uh, knife this guy up. All right. So I have advantage. Toggle that on, and we are firing the black glass daggers at it. Does a thirty-five? Does a twenty-five hit? A thirty-five. I wish thirty-five. Twenty-five. Uh, twenty-five hit? does hit. Correct. Lovely. Um, let me uh, roll damage on that. Oh, that was. Look at that. That's Dookie for rating damage right there. Okay. And. Mm -hmm. One more. Does a twenty-three hit? Uh, yes, it does. Okay. You're rolling quite well. Okay. Okay. Yeah, now... so those two daggers kind of fling into its, again, its kind of torso area of the hide. It's, it gets a roar and like, begins to kind of peer right into where you were, where those daggers are. Forgot to sneak attack. One second. Roll 2d6. Dang it. Good, now... good damage. All right, we are going to uh, run up over here next to Mauricio. And uh, bonus action hide. Give me your stealth roll. One second, though. Okay, but I rolled the three and then a five. We're only getting better. Let's see it. No, no, not advantage. Not advantage. <laughs> you got this. There you go. There it is. Okay. All right, that is my turn. Thank you, sir. No problem. Uh, okay, so that is your turn there. Uh, that goes to Moody. 
I'm still real weird about being at the top of this, not top, but you know. Uh, all right, so half my movement standing up because <laughs> I got turtled. Uh, so he's gonna get back up. Uh, he's gonna glance at Effie and just kind of see what the body language is. Is, is she like, I'm staying here? Or is she like, I'm trying to back up? Um, Effie is, Effie is like engaged, like one dagger, one wand, like, just ready to stab, ready to like, it, it's sort of like funny, like we got like armor, armor, Effie, uh, yeah. fantasy <laughs> armor for women um, in the video games, but yeah, that's- And also five feet tall. <laughs> oh my God, yeah, exactly. Oh man, all right. So I think he's just gonna get up, see that and be like, now uh but he's just gonna go for his swings on this guy uh at regular ether spear yeah baby yeah baby <laughs> oh shit. yeah that's a smite yeah. my friend uh, give me some damage destroying her brother <laughs> we gonna pump in a level three smite on this bitch uh Ooh, so here's the the regular Nice nat natural one on that radiant damage. Uh, so that's the regular one. Uh, here comes the two oh, natural no. ones on that radiant damage. <laughs> you just rolled five uh, ones in the I did. I rolled many ones. All right, hold on. Uh, so for Divine no. Smite, he's also a fiend, so he gets an extra. Uh, so I'm just making sure I'm going to roll the correct one for first level. Uh, each one after that. So that's four, five, D, eight, because. Third level well, and 10 because you crit though. And I roll 10 d8 and then <laughs> that's, how, that's how it works. You double yeah, all the you dice, roll 10, you roll whatever the dice is doubles. Well, no, I thought you were gonna do the like pick the five and then double that thing. So here comes 10 d8. Pray for me if you want it. Yep, garbage. <laughs> well, you roll a couple more ones. Oh no, that is still 35. <laughs> it is 35 damage on top of all the others. This is average yeah, most... is 50, but 35. Oh, this is man. the most holiday looking term ever. <laughs> I know. <laughs> so it's very high, it's very low. I'm so no good on a, on a You stabbing with the spear, you slashing with it. How you how you doing this? Oh, oh he's stabbing. Uh because again, yeah. he's still kind of using the ether aspect of it. So like he's it's almost like fake outs. Like he's going low, but the spear is reappearing behind him and like getting him in like the back and the, the shoulder. Uh but yeah, the two jabs come out from behind him. And make purchase and you see this kind of thick glowing blood that's almost more orange than it is red begin to kind of drip down from his back and hit the ground and wherever it hits it kind of smolders like it's almost like like trying to set fire to the uh, um, surroundings but thankfully the road is just the road and there's nothing to ignite um but it is getting more irate like if you see like an angered bull that's kind of what you're getting in its face right now uh as it turns its attention from the woods back down to what's in front of it um it kind of regards the spear wielding <laughs> <laughs> we just sm smite it, smit it. Anyway, um, <laughs> smitten. Uh, yeah, no, that's the end of my turn. I'm gonna stay there, but I think he's gonna like um, whip the blood off the end of his spear. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It. <laughs> kind of um, burns in the nice. corner. It is gross. Uh, it is going to use its legendary action after you, uh, and since you're, it is. Oh, that's the smart play. It is going to. I don't know. It's probably just going to try to lash the monk again from here. Uh, so it is. Yes. Oh. Yes. <laughs> yes. I... I feel sorry, dude. Damn. It's funny because neither of them have been each other since this fight has started. Oh, <laughs> my just... God. Buy them I, D4s because we love the DMs and y'all stop to complaining. <laughs> D4 is not going to help this. D4 <laughs> no, this particular gonna... roll, this particular roll, you know, it's wasted. But yeah. <laughs> other rolls. Mer too many vows, it's your turn. Merciel. <laughs> Merciel, say it, Nenners. You can do it, Nenners. <laughs> the same mode you feel like back to it. <laughs> uh, okay. Uh, Speaking of pole vaulting, she's literally going to run in and pole vault into her attack. Uh, cause he big. <laughs> uh, I believe this covers the 10 feet of range she has with her quarter staff. Um, she is going to lead with a stunning bullet. 
She does not actually expect this to work on a motherfucker this big, but for a shot, you know, a little bit of gambling. Uh, where's that damn button? I had the button, and the button was right there. I, I swear the button was in front of me. <laughs> and then and then suddenly no button. Someone moved the button. Don't be moving buttons, people. Yo, it's a conspiracy. We're out okay. here moving buttons. All right, there we go. Uh, stun and blow, and I'm going to roll that attack. Uh, and if it misses, which yes. it did, she's actually going to spend a key point to increase it. Hell yeah. So she can land that hit. Oh, yeah. Um, so, okay. Uh, uh, so it goes up to 22, which is a hit. Yeah. I don't know what the DC for this. Uh, the DC is zero, 0 because you go to stun it and it hits, but wrong nerve cluster, maybe it's not prone to this kind of thing, uh, but it does not seem to react to the particular like the, the impact of the bludgeoning, absolutely, but it seems to be immune to stun, being stunned. Okay. Well, she's going to continue her assault. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Give me some, okay, some damage. And she's going to burn the key point to keep it going. <laughs> uh, so there you go. Uh, uh, so yeah, roll me the damage for the ones that hit. Indeed. This attack did wait. Stunning blow does still do the damage, right? Well, yes, the, girl. It's a normal hit. You just don't get exactly. It's just an addition to your attack. Okay. Yeah, just shovel check. All right, there you go, nice. buddy. Yeah, she the the in and just once she gets the ground, starts going for his legs, <laughs> just <laughs> spinning his half around, and uh, yeah, he was trying to lance her the whole time. She ain't even she she missed the first attack. She ain't she ain't even done all the damage. <laughs> Why you coming at me? It's your turn now. <laughs> That's awesome. All right. Uh, okay, so now it, it is its turn. One second. Uh, so I got its hounds on its way. Oh, so, on its turn, it needs to roll a wisdom save because it starts in, my, in the spiders. Spirit guardians. <laughs> oh. Someone pray oh, for your no. DM, please. <laughs> Somebody out there. Señor Nenario, oh, it's a flat roll. I just uh, yeah, give me the give me the bill if you don't mind. Um. Oh, she will. <laughs> it is well, going to just let me just roll forty eight. Okay. Uh, while you do that, it is going to so it attacking the people in front of it. So, uh, and that is radiant damage. Got it. Awesome. Oh yeah, we were we seeing any difference with like radiant damage on him? Because radiant damage the... definitely lands harder for sure. <laughs> okay, cool. Um, cool. So this is going top to bottom. Uh, oh, is that twenty five for me? <laughs> the twenty five oh. is unfortunately for you. Uh, yeah, the is. first lance kind of misses uh, the the wizard a little too short for its angle yeah. at that point. It's not a good weapon to use at like, that particular range. It would miss me and all of my mirror images, so I don't even have to roll. Correct. Uh, and then the second it kind of readjusts, it actually hits the paladin with that particular one. Um, and the lash, unfortunately, does not seem to find purchase at any point in time. Um, the, nope, I hit the wrong thing. It's Lance was the damage, not the barb thing. Uh, so you take 15 piercing damage from this Lance as it kind of pierces through your armor. And it, it's, it is burning. It is unpleasant. Uh, but it rips it back out and then misses the dwarf, unfortunately. Uh, it is... <laughs> Uh, it's gonna move. Uh, it's gonna move this way. Uh, it's gonna just kind of like do a quick turn around and begin to run. Uh, you guys can do opportunities of attack for those of you who have reactions or in range, but it is gonna move back, say about uh, 50 feet. Uh -huh. It ain't going uh, nowhere. <laughs> I'm a war caster as well, so I get to cast a spell. Has a natural one for me. <laughs> I saw it. I brought it back. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> all right, give me your damage. Yo. Oh, bludgeoning! Nice, oh, nice. Feels weird. Oh. Yeah, and I'm a booming blade on that dagger. Just so. hit me with some damage. Let's go. Oh, Let's go. Shank him. All right, so the dagger and the. Spear both make kind of contact again. The dagger, when you recoil it, it's that hot kind of magma blood that you're like, ah, what is that? 
Uh, you feel it radiate through the dagger of its metal. Uh, the bludgeoning hits just as it normally would, but good job. It is. It tried to move. It is forced to stay. So uh, that is the end of its turn. Yeah, it's and literally. that's under damage uh, for the extra ten. Okay, under damage. Uh, does it have? Nope, it's yeah, not resisted. Uh, okay. It takes up the... pretty much as soon as he starts to move, sweet right for that back layer. Yep, just to kind of stumble and it does not move. Excellent. Uh, Effie, it is your turn. Get him, Effie. Uh, bat. Uh, so, yeah, like, um, it didn't end up moving because somebody has Sentinel. Correct. Yeah. yeah. Love that for us. Um, bat. Yeah, I don't got much melee options except for stabbing. So we're going to do what we do um, and keep on stagging this gigantic horse person. Uh, Nenners, does this horse person have a jerry curl? Is this horse person <laughs> sweating? It's clearly been wounded, but it doesn't seem to have slowed down all that much. It seems Can to be get enough of our love. It's a question. Quite, quite full of vigor right now. <laughs> Sadly, yeah. no Jericho. Doesn't seem to have much hair. More fur. Oh, is that the orange substance that was dripping? Is this the juice of the Jericho? <laughs> all right, so I've hit two booming blades on them. Uh, so if they move, there are like two things of 3d8 that are just like vibrating around them. Yep. If they if they want to get out of get out of the spirit guardians and the spiders and the hags. Uh, the radiant damage. The radiant damage hags are my favorite. <laughs> yeah. So that that's my turn. <laughs> like holy hags. Holy hags. <laughs> that's awesome. Uh, okay. Uh, that Brannigan, it is yours. All right, I'm going to. Oh, also, I'm sorry, but oh, like the piercing damage is not magical. If that matters for anything, Nunners, I know you need a win today. Uh, for this creature, <laughs> it, uh, she's not wrong. Uh, for this creature, it does not matter. So you're fine. All right. Good so from out. a bonus action, I'm a Hoover up my spiritual weapon into spiritual weapon range. We gonna do that. Hey, I didn't expect it to hit. It has a lower bonus, but that seems like the exact right number. It is. It is. Look at that. Mm -hmm. So it takes five. You count them five force damage. It is not resistance. So that force kind of hits it. Getting a lot of hits in me right now. And then we um, throw a hammer. And then we gonna throw another hammer. All right. Second one hits. Getting, I got a plus twelve. Why am I only sub tens? Uh, 19, Dang, 19 nice. bludgeoning damage. Hell yeah. Good stuff. And I have to assume he's not looking particularly roughed up. We just got into this. Wouldn't that be 20? <laughs> Wait, does he count as a giant or no? No, it no. used to no, specifically no. be of the giant creature. Oh, giants. That okay. does hit hard. Right. And again, he's not bloody yet, but yeah, yeah he's, no. he's showing signs of battle. For sure. No, I got stuff, but I don't think it's worth stuffing the stuff yet. So... Um, for fun, unless it costs a bonus action, in which case I can't do it. Let me, uh, da -da -da. yeah, it is bonus action. I was gonna teleport and then teleport back if it was just my move action because I can do that <laughs> between the echoes <laughs> just for silliness, but I can't. So, no silliness. My turn is just done. All right, excellent. Uh, it is done. All right, so the hellhounds are now visible. And you can see them and their stupid red beady eyes kind of float, uh, float into the darkness running at you. They're going to burn an a a dash action to get as close as possible. Let me just double check their movement rate. Uh, it's 100 feet with a dash. Holy Ooh. shit. Man, they're dogs. They're fast. They're quick. Yep. They're quick. Just to make sure I got that measurement right. No. Just eyeballing that shit. Yeah, it's roughly about the same. Uh, but obviously, you guys know that in the next turn, they will be upon you. Dogs. Yeah. Some doges. <laughs> we love dogs. Oh, look at them. They're adorable. Um, they are on their way in. 
Uh, that is the end of their collective turn. It turn top of the round comes back to Coraline. All right. Um, I, I just want to ask about the logistics of uh, what's going on here. Like, uh, so Marissa will move in front of her. So uh, what, what happens here? Can I attack straight forward or do I got to take an angle? Can I like wanted the knives or no? It's, I mean, the creature is big enough that you can still see it and attack it from that angle. So I'm not going to penalize you. Mm -hmm. um, that shouldn't be uh, an issue. Yeah, All right. Okay. Cool. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So I, I think like uh, narrative, narrative wise, she'd be trying to, Hit its back legs, you know, try and take out its ankles or something. If it, do the horse have ankles? They have, they have <laughs> ankles, yeah, man. I don't know. That's what I'm asking. Do, do I look like I was racing a farm? I don't know, man. Anyway, so. What? <laughs> okay, so once again, the question Do I have advantage on this attack? Uh, do you have advantage on this attack? You, uh, yeah, it's, it's engaged in melee. You do have advantage. All right, very good then. We are going to try and knife it again. One moment, please. Okay, come on, come on, knife it. Mm. Sharp sure shooter give it, and it taketh away. It and does. it taketh away. We are going to use. Uh, nah, fuck it. Okay, nah, not worth. Let's roll the other one. Come on, come on. Heart of the cards. Heart of the cards. Does the twenty six hit? Twenty six does hit. Fantastic. I forgot to toggle on sneak it. Oh no, no, it's good. Toggle on sneak it. And roll damage. Oh. I rolled a one. I, no. I rolled two ones for. Wow. for okay. <laughs> we got nice. sharpshooter over here regularly breaking the AC by like six plus. And oh. I got a fitty fitty shot of hitting, and I keep missing. <laughs> fitty fitty. We need fitty. to get that big garai energy back. <laughs> we do. We do. All right. Now, uh, uh. Can I uh, bonus action offhand, or no? Uh, bonus action offhand. You already, you offhand what? Throw? Uh, yeah, the dagger. How many times can you attack? Uh, twice. You can spend the key point to attack. Well, okay. You can do unarmed strikes as a bonus action. Can it, does but it I'm pretty sure the weapons. language does not let you use monk weapons. It has to be specifically unarmed strikes. Mm -hmm. Right, exactly. It does. Well, okay. I think it depends on the class, though. If you want to run up and punch it, you can do that. No, I'm not gonna. Okay. I'm pretty okay. sure your radiant beams are special, but I'll triple check. Mm. I mean, continue on as if I'm correct, because I usually am, but then we'll circle back. <laughs> All right. Yeah. It yeah, is specifically the... unarmed. I'm pretty sure you can offhand strike with, like, a light weapon. Like, I'm not sure if you can, like, throw it. I think it has to be just like a quick stab something okay. that's within five feet of you. I just posted the thingy. Simple and martial oh. must be permission and must lack heavier special properties. Well, unless you make a weapon into a monk weapon, but the thing that lets you attack as a bonus action is martial arts. That specifically says when you attack with an unarmed strike or a monk weapon, mm. you can use an unarmed strike as a bonus action. Now, yeah. if you have two weapons, one in each hand, you can do an offhand strike, which is what it is referring to. Oh. But that's got to be stabbing. Okay. <laughs> All right. <laughs> All right. So I have key field attack. I'm just wondering like, about the rules on this. Does that mean that I can spend one on nothing? Or or do I have to make it as a part of, a, of, an, of, a, of my turn? You have a key uh, what? Key field attack. How does that work? I don't know what that is offhand. Read it. <laughs> Link it, man. We, you're just referencing sorry, stuff sorry, we sorry, don't sorry, know what you're talking about. You can also make one attack with an unarmed strike or monk weapon as a bonus action. So that's the same deal, right? Is is your throwing weapon a monk weapon? Well, it does yeah. say one attack with an unarmed strike or a monk weapon, but what is... Yep. Uh, is yeah, the dagger should be a monk weapon. It is oh, a monk, monk weapon. weapon. Yeah, sure. Mm -hmm. Okay. So that should work. Yeah, it is, I don't think they just dis discern whether or not it's thrown or stabbed. So go for it. All right. We're going to spend the key here and we are going to try to attack again. Come on. Come on. Don't fail me. <laughs> so the 23 hit. 23 barely hits, but it does hit. And <laughs> key field attack one of those optional things they added. Okay. And roll that. Yep. 17. Yeah. Okay, nice. nice damage. Yeah. You are absolutely stinking these daggers into this creature. Yeah. Um, <laughs> do you want to describe how the daggers stay in or leave? What, what, what ends up happening is that yeah they, they they make impact they go in but almost immediately they, they look very fragile they immediately shatter after they make contact okay excellent uh so you, you is it an audible shatter or just visual hmm? 
Oh, no, no, it's audible. You can hear it, right? It, they, like, explode. It's, it's, like, very dramatic, right? Awesome. All right, great. Um, with that, uh, that is the end of your turn, correct? Yes, yes, sorry. Okay. Yep, yeah, no problem. That was a great my esque turn, no worries. Uh, it is going to... Uh -huh. <laughs> what? <laughs> Damn, dude. What the hell? I love waking you up my Okay, you could have thrown shade at me, but seriously? Okay. <laughs> Wait, um, hold on. Uh, does this affect it? The Fury of Wolves thing? I know it says on Arm Strikes, but that's your normal. No, Key Fueled uh, Attack, I've forgotten, is a thing they added. If you spend key as part of your action, you can specifically then use a monk weapon instead of the martial arts thing. But that would yeah, preclude you from doing Flurry of Blows, which would be too mm. unarmed. However, I don't do unarmed. They made monks complicated, is what I'm saying. <laughs> yeah, you could do one, or you could do two, or you could spend a key point, do two, and yeah, but you can't do them all at the same time. Gotta do a lot of monk <laughs> bath. All right, uh, also, that Moody, it is your turn. All right, guess what? I'm a stab a bitch. Okay, uh, standing up and uh, stabbing. <laughs> so, uh, think. Ooh, that was a natural two. And that was a natural three. This room saying, effectively <laughs> a plus seven on these daggers. Rushing it. Oh, man. We went from high to low. It's okay. That happens. Um, I think I'm going to stay where I am, though. Uh, I have a lot of things that I have to kind of like wait to do. So I'm, oh, uh, yeah, so I'm going to stay right here. Oh, hello! She's so wriggly. She, like, runs away. That's okay. Awesome. Uh, yeah. Give them one attention. So the two misses and everyone kind of gathering around it, 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 it is kind of, like, beginning to size things up. It looks and sees its hounds coming in. Uh, it is going to use its legendary action, and it just takes a really deep breath and just, just this gout of flame comes out of it. Uh, I will need a dexterity saving throw for... Um, everybody in that little cone area there. Uh, so it's a 20 foot cone. Um, why can't I make cones? So that's the cone. Um, Double checking something. Would you stop oh, no, killing no, no, my damn echo? That. That's action economy. You're wasting. Uh, you are all in the, <laughs> in the paladin. <laughs> the paladin's aura, obviously. You're my aura. Uh, you and my aura. Don't worry. I'm gonna fail another save for you. Uh, oh, this DC is different than the last one. <sighs> I would have passed the last one. The last one was seven, eight, 17. This one's 18. Effie, That's despite nice. being in heels, is mad quick on her feet. <laughs> oh man. Walking on it. Okay. Um, oh, but yeah, 23 that. saves, you take half, so 15. Those of you who did not uh, take 30, unless you have any kind of <laughs> resistances or anything Oh, like shit, that. I am resistant to fire. <laughs> Excellent. <laughs> well, look at that. Yeah. <laughs> look at that. Uh, so oh, then obviously you would take 15. Uh, those of you who are not, take the full 30. And that is the end of his legendary. Uh, let's see. That is So now it goes to Mercy. Yo, uh... It's time. Before she even starts attacking the centaur again, she's actually going to uh, kind of do a one-handed Hadoken motion towards the hellhounds and unleash a searing lunar burst. She's actually infusing this with two K points, so boom. <laughs> all right. Uh, let's see. So seeing. Should catch all of them. Uh, it's twenty foot. Radius. A Twenty foot radius. Uh, con saving throw. Take two d six radiant damage. Or radiant damage. Okay, gotcha. In this case, it's going to be four d six because she spent two points of key. Or six d six actually. Uh, you can uh, all right. Two point you spin increases the damage by two d six. So yeah, uh, six d six. So we roll that. All the Constitution saving throws. I got the Christmas curse too. <laughs> that's, that's what you get, Nana, for having so many dudes on the board. My goodness, what is going this on? This is a statistical anomaly. I've never like it's just it's absurd. Absolutely you can D4 one of those fourteens to see. Nah, if you I'm good. No, we're good. I'm not gonna burn it on that. Oh, um God. that is the uh yeah, they all fail. So they all take what was it, eighteen radiant? Yep. Uh well thirty six, damn. Yeah. Why is this your key, DC? I it doesn't say <laughs> it would be, yeah. 
Yeah, okay. uh, your key DC is based off of your wisdom, which I imagine is pretty high, but yeah, the, it's 8 plus your proficiency plus your wisdom. 8 plus my proficiency, which is 4. Uh, so 12 plus my wisdom. Uh, that's actually just 15. I, yeah. I, so I have we all, we all problems. Anyway. No, no, the highest it's... one is 14. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> this one's 14. Ah. Oh, no. uh, yeah, the DC's fifteen. You could you could try and D four your way out of one. <laughs> that is, you need a two or higher, man. Come on, that's a D fourteen. Well, yep, I realized my mistake. <laughs> <laughs> you mean? only need a one. It meets it, beats it. Yeah, it meets it, beats it. Oh, so, you're right. I'm sorry. Yeah, yeah we'll yeah, say the right. first fourteen doesn't take the, the full damage. Uh, the rest, dude, that thing goes in and just detonates and hits them all with radiant. They all kind of like ignite slightly uh, as they. You hear a bunch of howls and uh, yaps and yips and just kind of uh, like growling at the uh, the the attack that they all had all suffered, but uh, they they don't they don't look too happy about that particular thing. That was that was a lot of radiant damage for them. Uh, good move. All right, so that was I believe your action. You have bonus action, actually, and movement or bonus action? as an action. Oh, okay. You magically right. create. Uh, she's gonna use her bonus action to get out them uh, extra strikes. <laughs> Now I don't know if it's one or two now because of that confusing uh, mocking monk thing. <laughs> Is it two on our You side? used he as part of your action, so you can use you can attack once with a monk weapon, or if you spend a key point twice with your fists. Huh? You get one. You get one stick, one fist, or for one key, two fists. That's monk math. This is fucking stupid. <laughs> you, you know what? I, 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 no, you did spend key. I was going to say, if you did spend key, you don't even get to do it. So, okay. You spent key, so you're choosing to use your stick. What? I don't think that's how it works with monk, though, with this particular one. because of the well, No, with the key fueled attack is part of every monk now. It's just a recent monk thing. Because you used key to attack, you can use your monk weapon as a bonus action single attack. Mm. Okay. You did it right, and you hit. Why did you? Why did you? Okay, please continue. <laughs> yep. My my has got sickly brain. <laughs> uh, okay, yeah. So a bludgeoning damage, and you poke it with the, the your staff real quick, um, and it, it just kind of picks and just glances at you for a moment, but then focuses on the three in front of it. Um, all right, that any you have movement if you want to use it, and that's pretty much it. That's what I'm talking about, Mauricio. Do it again. <laughs> <laughs> Wait. It, my turn's over. Yeah, I'm not telling yeah. you you can do it again. I'm oh, just right. saying. I blew. <laughs> oh, I am, oh, what is the long silence really confused me. Girl! Like, there was like 10 seconds that passed of nobody saying anything. So I was like, we were asking if you wanted to move. Uh-huh. No, I said also, no, I wasn't gonna. I said that was my turn a while back. Also, I'm just, I'm just making sure. Obviously, help me if I'm wrong. You have a like your weapon is technically a quarter staff, isn't that still five feet of range? What? I don't, no. I don't think quarter staffs are ten unless you have a. They, they have reach. God damn it! Okay. Why? Okay, then you're oh, fine. God. Then you're, really then you're fine. Nope. I'm looking up. <laughs> okay. Staffs then... don't have reach. Either way, you're fine. Like, yeah, I'm pretty sure quarter staffs don't have it because I always thought they did, and I had to look it up when I was on my druid ages ago. But again, I could be wrong, so just carry on with your turn. All right, <laughs> over. 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 I say that's Nenners. Maya, I need you to relax. <laughs> um, Nenners. Yes. At the start of your turn, I need you to take some absolutely. Damage. You are great oh. with that. Um. <laughs> I like how she does like like just don't even roll, just take the damage because you know you're not gonna beat it. <laughs> yeah, that's Kill. nine points of radiant damage. But, yep, as it gets seared again, uh, it is uh, then going to use the barb lash actually against the one who keeps searing it. Oh, Ooh. Um, uh, let me roll a d twenty to see if it hits me. Sounds good. Let's go mirror image. Hey. Oh. <laughs> Nenners, your crit goes to an illusion. It does indeed. Uh, it is then going to barb lash the paladin. Oh, good. <laughs> uh, misses, and then it is going to lance the other paladin. Hey. 
<laughs> this is. Uh, oh. Yeah, it is also going to try to move away again. Uh, this time down a little bit further. So again, opportunities attack if you want, but it is going to use most of its movement to try to get away. I think you forgot something, Nenner. What's that? Um, Sentinel. Yeah, I know. Uh, that's You have to hit the Sentinel. So that was a good roll. Yeah. Yeah. Give me some damage. Again, I just need to roll a 10. You can't quite hit the thing, apparently. 55% um, chance I've got. Uh, I'm going to wait, actually. I'm going to save my reaction. Actually, no. Yeah, I'm, I'm saving my reaction. I just went. Okay. Uh, <laughs> all right. And so the only one hit was the actual Sentinel, so it stays with the 10 damage. Okay, great. Uh, my, your quarterstaff does have reach. It's a special quarterstaff. Effie, it is your turn. Uh, what? Uh, <laughs> yeah. I think Effie's just going to turn around when, like, I think Effie's going to notice, like, the radiant bomb that went off behind her and be like, oh, oh, there y'all are. Uh, and she's just going to turn. Um, yeah. Probably, like, say something very, very menacing and infernal. Um, like, just, you dumb beasts. You really should have feared us more. Um, says that in Infernal, and then it's going to cast a cone of cold. Okay, Anita, Anita, you should have said that after you rolled. I no. I feel Our pretty beer. positive that oh, yeah. this is going right, to go. work out oh. for me. See, it was well, safe this time because Nenner's has to roll. Yeah, I feel like <laughs> Net with Nenner's rolling, I can't fail. Um, it also got a they got a big burst of radiant damage before this. Even if they fail, probably super dead. Yep, that was the purpose. Oh, look at that roll! Yes. Mm. Oof. Yeah, could you make a DC eighteen Constitution saving throw for me, Dennis? Thanks. Uh... Actually, I'm going to use a um, channel Arcana thing and make this save the DC twenty. So Ooh. I'm going to use a channel arcana, Thank and you. you just have to roll a 20, that is. Uh, well, I got six chances. That's four. Yep, yep. Uh, that's I also want to call out that uh, Anita rolled higher uh, than me on my smite, and I had two more d8s than she did. <laughs> <laughs> oh, sorry. I accidentally clicked some shit. Uh, okay. That's uh, a failure, I believe, the whole way down, because uh, you did boost it above the 18. So, uh, cool. yeah. I did. <laughs> Yep. Let's go. Oh, Nenners, you take 41 points of cold damage every Ooh, single of your dogs. Yeah. Uh, let's see. So only... <laughs> go through my list here of doges. Also, to confirm, Nenners doesn't take the damage. It's the... <laughs> it's I don't, the I don't take... I mean, <laughs> it's, it's spiritually, I take the damage. These are my doges. That's true. That's true. Now they're downy. Um, well, only one of them survives, as the rest of them all get... This sounds, sounds familiar. Uh, they all get kind of flash frozen as they're running and just fall over, and some of them ca like just scatter. Some fall in positions where they were kind of had all four paws on the ground, so they're actually kind of stable. But I'd say probably three of them at least shatter. The other two are just kind of like frozen in place, and the other one looks really, really bad. And if we're going to go from number-wise, I believe it was this one that saved uh, from the initial radiant stuff, so it had enough hit points to survive that. And it is going to be Le Bloody, uh, the rest are dead. Yeah. Right, it's one hell of a one-two oh. combo. Well done, Effie. Yeah. Uh, so with that, uh, you still have your bonus action, but wizard, it's a lull. But uh, then whatever <laughs> you want to do. Uh, don't be rude. <laughs> I wasn't until I get it. Did you no, see what fine. Effie just did? They don't need a bonus uh, action. Yeah. That, Their bonus action fair. is to gloat. Yeah. Uh, that's fair. Like, Nenners, you can be rude to me. It's okay. <laughs> I understand. <laughs> um, yeah, I think the rest of the turn, I think Effie is just going to do this. Just going to look, like, directly in the last remaining Hellhound's eyes and just say boo, or the equivalent <laughs> in Infernal. Um, just to see if she can, like, get it to run off after seeing all of its friends flash frozen and its master looking bloody in front of them. Uh, I mean, give me an intimidation roll. I will say 
It is in front of its master, so it'll be a disadvantage. That's fair. Yeah, I'm... Oh, this poor one doggo. The, the last lone doggo. Uh, wanted to spare it and let it run off into the woods, but let, let's see this bad intimidation roll. <laughs> let's go. Uh, toggle the disadvantage <laughs> and will... No one uh, wants to hear that. <laughs> intimidate. Ooh. Yeah. You say the words in Infernal and it's just, it's eyes do not leave your group. Um, and you hear kind of a grunt of satisfaction from the, the its master behind you. Yeah. I just, I just turn like, I just sort of like turn as like the grunt of, I hear the grunt of its bloody beaten looking really bad master <laughs> and just I think I have to like stifle a laugh in the middle of this ridiculous fight we're fine and <laughs> this guy is getting jumped and you're laughing at this point Ugh, you hate to see it somebody else go <laughs> no, let's say the centaur is not bloody uh, Brannigan it is your turn sir Quick question. <laughs> What's up? Has Kit's thrown weapon situation be getting advantage because it's a ranged weapon or because they were hiding? Because they were hiding. I was going to say, I figured, but I'd be throwing weapons too. So. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. If I can get that sweet, sweet He's advantage, I the... will. Yeah. But I'm also looking at somebody with 55 HP. I'm fine. Don't worry about it. Mm, there you go. Oh, you, you gotta worry about it though. Don't it feels like it's my job to worry about it though. <laughs> nah, it do seem that way. Men just picked my only weakness: dexterity saving throws. <laughs> yeah, I mean, yeah, I've been them too. Okay, for the moment, we will let it sit. I got lots of ways to deal with it <laughs> should it get worse. Okay, so from you know what we're gonna we're gonna we just going we just gonna move it. We're gonna put the echo over here, so it's no longer in the path of shit. <laughs> Let's go. Let's get started. And a little bit back. Okay. Now we be throwing hammers. I'm a time. And we throw and we throw. I mean, Jesus. You got 28? Come he on. Finally he finally had it. Finally had it. I mean, it's hard to complain when you've been rolling such shit foos, but man, I basically have one attack. <laughs> I specifically lost good cleric spells to get extra attack as a feature. I mean, rolling close to max damage helps. Nice. 24 bludgeoning. It sure does. How do you want to do, <laughs> no, do, you wanna do the non blood thing? <laughs> but yeah. Bonk. <laughs> your hammer returns. Uh, it, it's, it, there's an element of frustration where it's like it's mired in all this shit and it's like, you, you, the, like one more little poke and you're just getting like huffs of smoke and anger at the moment. But uh, it's, it's still in it. All right. Then that is me. All right. Uh, the last hellhound is going to run up. I believe it is in range. Uh, yep. It's got Wisdom of... saving throw, please. Uh, how big's your aura? Fifteen. It's that feet. aura you see on the uh, map. That is. Yeah, it's also difficult to rain once yep. you get into that. It isn't necessarily getting into it. Is we're going to be at the cusp of each other's ranges. I'll have it roll. Gotcha. Uh, anyway, but oh yeah, see. if it's staying out, if it's out there, that's then you're, a smart yeah. yeah, no problem. Then it's fine. It's not uh, gonna take damage. It doesn't need to. Okay. Oh, another uh, Isn't this? Okay, there we go. Uh, it's gonna use its fire breath, which is a twenty foot cone. Um, I need the, all of you guys to roll me a DC seventeen. You got dang dexterity saving throws, Denners. <laughs> It's you're fighting a lot of fly fire and trample guys. This, this is Henners. the name of the game. <laughs> it's all good. Man. It's what was that clown again? <laughs> oh my god, a nigga. <laughs> yes. yeah. Oh he got <laughs> Okay. Look at my adorable cat. Uh it takes okay. you're gonna make me roll this? Okay. Taking Sounds twenty-one good. or sixty-six. So your choice if you want to use that. Uh, you don't have, that's really have to roll. Yeah. I want to disappoint myself, Joe. I'll take that away from you. 
19. It's less. Right. Well, <laughs> let's take it. Uh, let's see. Uh, so 21 fire, 19 fire damage. Unless you're resistant, Joe, I believe that is you. So uh, nine points of damage because we round down. I'm bathed in the light of Morden's fiery forge. I don't fucking care about your fire. Get out of here. <laughs> yes. <laughs> All right. Uh, as the fire comes out, uh, for narrative purposes again, because I'm failing everything, <laughs> he's just <laughs> going to kind of like put the shield down and, and just kind of brunt it, which does nothing. But as he does, um, his blue kind of like cape sash glows for a moment. Uh, and he's going to reduce some of the damage that uh, Effie is going to take with his Cloak of Boundless Spirit. Um, so you're going to take uh, 10 less points of damage. Okay, buddy, please don't knock my shit over. Okay, that's it. That's, that's it. <laughs> Uh, awesome. woke up and is immediately like, give me treats! So he's trying to like knock the treats off the table. <laughs> <laughs> just, just, uh, <laughs> give me that! You can tell the hound wants to go more, but it's like looking up at its master, and it's just there's some kind of communication that's going on that's nonverbal that's forcing it to stop where it is. Um, but that is the end of its turn. Uh, Corlin, it is yours. All right. Hello again. Um, once again, Nenner, if you know the drill here, do I have advantage on this attack? Nothing has changed. Stop asking me. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Let us do an, uh, let's do an, uh, an advantage here. And uh, we are going to throw the fucking daggers here. The like 26 hit. Just Get out of hit. here. <laughs> <laughs> You're making Joe real mad. Yep. All right. I'm, uh, toggling, I'm toggling sneak attack. Yep. And oh, goddamn. Okay. That's great damage, yeah. All right. Yeah, yeah. I'm toggling and... Let's do it again. A 19 does not hit, but we are going to Good. use the key point. Also, um, am I... Okay, never mind, never mind. Does the 21 hit? It does not. Damn it! That was a mistake. Uh, but I did use the key point, so I get to do it again. Come on. Does a 27 hit? <laughs> <laughs> does, does Sharpshooter negate crits? Huh? Uh, it's still a critical I, success. That is a result. Yeah. yeah. Also, yeah. Oh, sorry, I'm gonna be a pain. Uh, for stealth, like advantage, don't you lose your stealth advantage after you do your first attack because you're breaking stealth for your attack? I think. Ah, uh, yes, that is true. Yeah. Okay. I was All gonna right. say that other oh. turns, but I was how, like, how, I don't know if he's got some special shit this? or something. How do you want to roll this, Center? I didn't even realize that. Roll me a d20. If you get above the 10, you keep the crit. If you get below, you keep the 20. There. You take it away. You take <laughs> it away. Kid has to roll a 15 to hit with this shit. And despite three to one odds against failure, consistent success. <laughs> okay, I'm so sitting here with you lose the crit, higher sir. chances I'm of hitting, All and right. I'm hitting half the time. All right. <laughs> Unfortunate. Okay, so are I, you jealous? I will One, say, if you're breaking a bonus action, you also won't be able to hide. No problem. Unless you have, oh yeah, something we built in that. that lets you hide. So no keep problem. that in mind too. No problem. Uh, do I just hit? Do I just hit the the weapon's name here to roll it or what? Roll what? Damage on twenty five. <laughs> yeah, you click on the weapon's name like you did before. You you wait. When did you hit a second time? I'm confused. The if you're saying it's not the crit because the advantage is lost, it would be the thirty minus five. Oh yeah, yeah, my brain. Yep, yes. Okay. Roll the damage. Yep, roll the regular okay. damage. You're good. Okay. okay. Yeah, no, click the one above it because otherwise it's going to do the crit. Well, this is just eleven plus twelve. And again, yeah. with that last shot, you, you're not going to be able to hide because you are burning a bonus action to do it. No problem. Okay. All right. Cool. All right, that's All right. my turn. Thank you. Okay. Uh, excellent, Moody. It is your turn. <sighs> Fucking regretfully dump my lay on hands because I've soaked up quite a bit of damage onto myself. Um, yeah, that's, that's a lot of hit points to have to come back to. Uh, so that's his action. I, mean, I will say, if you feel confident about living through a hit, a cleric was gonna cleric in a minute. Yeah, that's fine. That's fine. Don't worry about it. You deal that's radiant like damage. I do radiant da You can do radiant damage if you believe in yourself. No, I'm kidding. Um, <laughs> that's what I'm going to do uh, with my... Uh, I'm just going to double check, actually. Oh, that's my action. That's my whole fucking action. I forgot. Uh, I'm not going to do all of it, though. So pardon me as I do some jank math, because... Jank math! 
Jank math. We love to see it. Okay. Uh, so he's going to dump 30 points into himself. So he's back up to 66. And then he's going to stay there. Because <laughs> okay. bonus action, pally, la, 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 la. Uh, that's it. Uh, I have to go to the bathroom, Nanners. Can we take a quick break? <laughs> yes, we can take a quick break. Uh, <laughs> Thank you. Go get him plum ba- batter, bladder, plum bladder. That's my sister, Saz and Plum. <laughs> <laughs> Ask us about our gears of war. <laughs> Hey, right, listen. Uh, okay, that was a different time. I don't need you. To like four you times the stage. You got quite the workout running up and down those stairs. <laughs> I did. I did. Um, all right, we'll be right back. Pardon us as we take a quick break uh, <laughs> yep. for bio and stuff as we come back to this combat. So bye. Sounds good. <laughs> How come?
And then it's Moody's turn. We're going right back into it. Moody, go. No, it's not. It was the end of my turn. I had to pee. It was the end of your turn? I thought you... Oh, yeah, because I, I lay on hands. M names and vowels? Oh, mercy. <laughs> uh, yeah. She's going to uh step in. Uh, Apparently. I, I don't know. It's, can she hit him from here? I'm trying to figure out what his size is. Uh, no, you're technically 10 feet away at that range. Okay. All right. So she's coming in. Of course, Dad's ain't got no range. Uh, I'm full. Forgive me. Uh, <laughs> yep. And she's going to uh, take her two swings on him with, let's like, say, it's staff. I fixed the damage on this thing. Uh, but that's a that's a whole last miss. Uh, 23. 23. Hits, okay. Yep. That's, that's a 13. She's actually going to spend two charges of her staff. Uh, staff is striking, so that'll be 2d6 force damage. All right, add that on there. Nice. Let's go. Uh, All right, awesome. What up, Carpe? Um, these guys are oh, nice. Boy. All right, All right. so six damage. Uh, just a 19 grand total. Let me add that to that. Okay. Uh, ooh, to the number. As you hit and add that force damage to the uh, this particular strike, you just want to, like it's just like a deafening roar in front of all of you as it becomes enraged. Uh, it is technically at half at this point, so you are have it bloodied, um, but it's to the point where like it 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 has dropped its lance and it only has its whip and it is just frothing. Um, it is beyond angry at this particular point. Is that the end of your turn? No. Uh, okay. <laughs> I am hey, no more half. Uh, use a bonus action. To searing arc strike, not searing arc, but uh, do that radiant bolt at the hellhound who's still standing. Uh, so let me go ahead and roll my up. Uh, I just want to point out that I have not harmed the centaur, my echo has, <laughs> <laughs> so he should be mad at him. Not yep, me. Disregard that bolt, it went wide. Uh, okay. <laughs> Uh, uh, I think she was distracted by the roaring. It's like, jeez, <laughs> the stuff so, goes way off. Uh, yeah, that's that's my whole turn. All right, uh, we're gonna put the lovely red circle here. Uh, it is going to use its. Well, it goes next. Never mind. So it doesn't matter. Uh, well, it's gonna do it anyway. It's gonna use a wrathful charge. So oh, good. it's One going to charge in. <laughs> Uh, not for you guys. It is for the monk and what he presumes to be because she did not hide after her last attack. Um, so I needed a dexterity saving throw from uh, Merciel as it begins to just trample through everything. Uh, and if you... Okay, that does pass. Uh, you can do your... Actually, it's still in melee. So no, you can't. Um, it is absolutely going for uh, uh, Carlin. I need a dexterity Wait. saving throw from you as well. Can okay. Minners? What's up? Can Sentinel stop a charge? No. If, oh, it, re okay. if it gets, if, she, if he moved out of your thing, it would. The other three can. Uh, the Pally, Moody, uh, no. and uh, the Wizard absolutely yeah. can. Good yes. save. Uh, uh, since you are right here, though, uh, it did move into your space. I'm going to say choose where to move because it is in your space as a result of that charge. Um, can I flavor that? Uh, I'm a, So Corlin is also a skirmisher. Can I flavor that as her using her reaction to move away from him? Uh, you don't have to like burn a reaction. You're just like, as a result of your save, you're moving. Okay. <laughs> uh, you can use your reaction if you want. I'm just not going to take that from you. Uh, 19 misses, the 29 ether spear hits, and the 16 dagger unfortunately misses. So give me your... Uh, we are going to divine smite. Uh, so we're gonna use a level two for that, so that's four d eight. Uh, I think I forgot one above average in on that one. All right, uh, so yeah. that's extra fourteen points of radiant damage, and then I am also going to use my uh, relentless avenger to move up to half of my movement speed in his direction. Awesome. Uh, five, uh, 10, 15. And that's, All right, that's it. and it's then going to use its barbed lash against you, but it has advantage because you hit him a ton of times. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> that's rude. Uh, so I assume the well, 
it's really just two rolls, so don't ignore the other one. Uh, so 26 hits, can you negate that in any way? You talking to me? I'm talking to you. I don't know. Okay. <laughs> uh, no. You take 18 slashing damage, and I'm going to need a contested strength athletics check as it is now restraining you. It you... hits you with it and wraps you up, and it now is going to try to uh, restrain you. And You piece of shit. Okay. Maybe it take you for a ride. All right. What the? No, okay, that was, that was not necessary, man. Let's go. You got okay. this. Okay. So first of all, let me do that damage. Mm. And I'm rolling <laughs> athletics or strength. Okay. Yep. One second up for more. Athletics or strength. Athletics or strength. Same shit. Nope. It's like okay. it seems like a natural one yep. to fail. Natural one, let's do it. Uh, <laughs> the whip wraps around coils several times and is pulled taut, and because of the barbs are in there, it digs into you. Uh, you are now fully restrained by this particular creature, uh, and it is, now that you are strained, it's going to move. It's going to use all its movement rate to basically drag you. Uh, that's true. Or half its movement rate to kind of drag and then like guys. reset up a charge essentially. So you're coming with. Uh, Whoa, you are going to take. Ah, oh, misses the sentinel. Uh, it was 50 feet, so it's 10 per. What was it? D6 per five. All right. Uh, give me another strength check to see if you could stay on your feet while you're being literally dragged. If you fall, you will take damage, unfortunately. <laughs> okay. Strength, uh, strength save this time or athletics? Uh, it's athletics or strength. You just have to strength beat it. its okay. uh, its particular role as it's trying to force you to move. Good roll. roll. All right. Much better yeah. roll. Uh, watch, this roll man, watch this man. Watch this man. Hold up. 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 Nope. <laughs> Oh, okay. Well, oh, no. if that's a tie, then right? That's so a, you have to roll that's again. That's a tie. You got to roll oh, again. Fucking damn! Yeah. I, I don't have. I, I don't have. Uh... Oh fucking hell! Also, notice you're using a strength save. Oh. I don't know if his athletics is different. Um. Uh, oh yeah. Or if well, it's the same. Uh, it's the same. It's the same. We're good. God damn it! Man, I left the door open for you there. Uh, <laughs> yeah. You. Uh... You guys watch. Needs to win. As uh, is, you're wrapped up and she just gets yanked, and it is like literally, you when you see people get dragged by horses, that's exactly what you were seeing here. Uh, and you take 23 points of bludgeoning damage, you are prone and restrained uh, at the moment. Uh, that is the end of its turn as it lets out another kind of bellow as it watches you like squirm in its uh, its uh, what's it called? Whip. That's there we go. It's whip, Effie. It is your turn. Uh, that I think I'm just gonna like make eye contact with this thing, uh, flip the double birds and walk backwards, uh, as my, um, uh, as my aura gets into the dog that I wanted so badly. Right. <laughs> okay, um, Fuck you, dog. um, so yeah, mm -hmm. I. Go backwards. I'm. I'm not sure about like the wording of the spell. So, DM Nenners, once my roll twenty loads up, and I can like put this in the chat, uh, you can tell me what the verbiage of this means. Um, it says specifically, uh, you know, like an effective when the creature enters the area for the first time on a turn or starts its turn there i moved to get it in the area i'm not sure if oh on the first it time it's, on its, it's turn a turn so it, it could be your turn that oh. you introduce oh. it to the area uh like nunners can i roll some damage now or do i wait a little while uh i think booze was right let me just reread this uh and when a creature enters the area for the first time on a turn or start, yeah, she's correct. So you can roll I'm damage. I'm pretty sure right the verbiage of like the raw is that a creature has to enter it, whereas this would be the area coming to it, which doesn't work the same way. But you rule it how you want to rule it. I could also be wrong. 
Yeah, but I'm, it's, it's really at this point matters. a matter of time because it's just going to start. I was going to say it sounds turn. like it just yeah. died. It's, 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 it's so turn. yeah, it it yeah. doesn't. It's it's kind of splitting hairs here. So roll the cool. You can kill it now. Give me your uh, damage, assuming you don't roll all ones. And uh, yeah, that's more than enough. Uh, and that is what radiant damage. Yeah, twenty points of radiant damage. The radiant damage hits it. It begins to kind of melt away its skin, and it lets out this howl. But as it does. You watch beams of like fiery light come out of its eyes and mouth and everything, uh, and it goes into a turbulent death. But nobody is around it because of really good positioning, um, <laughs> and uh, it just kind of detonates. And everybody, and it just in a ten foot radius, it is just fire damage everywhere as it explodes. Uh, you've been yeah. very wisely using cold damage on it, and that's what negates the death. So, well done. Hilarious. <laughs> So, um, yeah, I feel like the explosion just like happens behind me and puts me in silhouette as I begin running with my iron heels, just five, ten. Oh, God. Like, I was like, I was right here. And now let me just use the ruler. 25 feet is what I have left. I'm going to go right there. Um, uh, and just um, post up again next to the paladin because that aura is really juicy. Uh, and also, <laughs> and also, let's like, if you want to come hang out with the people, you got to go through the aura. That's just how it works. Um, and yeah, that that's the turn. Wait, did I do an action? I just mm -hmm. did my movement. Uh, you just, can, yeah, you literally moved back and then killed the thing. And then... <laughs> I can use an action to do something. Yeah, sure, I can. Accurate. Um, what what the fuck can I do? Tell me something, Wizard God. Um, <laughs> Show his like, G's. What I do? <laughs> um, yeah, I'm gonna. Um, I'm. Okay, yeah. Oh, why not? I, I am need to up. take. Uh, can, while you're on your roll, I didn't mean to interrupt, but you, I, I'm owed. I owe you booming blade damage. Oh, for uh, you did move. How long does booming blade damage last? I think it's let the me next, round. The next turn. <laughs> yeah, let me put that up, because I'm pretty sure you're good. Like, I think Sentinel prevented the booming blade damage. Ironically. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, I will uh, like. Okay, all right. I will go up and return the favor uh, of the healing and the protection, and I will cast a third level. Uh, well, no, a second level. Um, yeah, yeah. I'll I'll do a second level. Um, I don't know you that well yet. Uh, cure wounds. <laughs> Uh, oh, so y'all keep healing when I'm about to be healing. Our cleric's yelling at us for doing his job. No, okay. Oh my god, what a Damn, fucking roll! Nice. Holy shit! Nice. <laughs> because the heal hits, there's gonna be like almost like a double take, <laughs> not because of who was standing there, but just how effective it was. Just oh shit, thanks. Uh, <laughs> Twenty points of healing. Let's go. Yeah, just like. Looking a little bit feral, like you're as you like take a second to like glance over. Um, she's like down in a crouch, like uh, knife is out, teeth bared, um, and like surrounded by all of these like hooded, hunchbacked women and like spiders just like crawling all around. It's she's a scary sight. Um, <laughs> He's gonna be like, "Oh shit, thanks, awesome, okay." Uh, <laughs> just like refocus. Uh, yeah, uh, and she is laser focused on the fiend. Also, uh, Flandy is giving a DM or a player inspiration roll to whoever has the lowest D twenty roll. Oh, so uh, us, us players need to all roll a D twenty to see who this D four goes to. <laughs> Flandy's type of players need out here. Help! They're whooping my ass, Flandy. <laughs> oh, stop! Damn. Oh, well, we can just stop. Okay. The one was rolled. <laughs> no, you can you can match. 
You don't know. Maya rolled there for some reason. Landy and Fire and Players. Insomnia gets it. <laughs> Gave a D4 and that's entered. Me. Oh my goodness. All right. Sorry. That's 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 it. I'm done interrupting. No, you're good. You're good. Um, all right. So with that, I think it's going to burn its legendary action and just do a straight trample now because it's there. Uh, for everyone there. So it's a 21 and it is coming straight down the pipe. So let me move these guys down. That does not hit me, thank goodness. Oh wait, is it a it's a to hit, right? Yeah. It's to yeah. hit okay. first, and if you yeah, fail, yeah, yeah. then you got saves. Okay. So it's a um, Nanners. Yes. That's a wisdom save. Uh, absolutely hundred percent. Uh so 48. God, yeah, that is great. Damage. Uh, okay, Nenders, uh, how, how, what are the logistics of uh, Coraline being dragged? You got to give me another uh, strength contest, but you are prone, so I'm going to give you disadvantage because you yeah. don't even have your feet <laughs> under you. Um, and then if also, Nenders, you... yes. trample a mirror image. <laughs> Excellent. <laughs> All, right. <laughs> All right, rolling strength here. No. Uh, this... Jeez. It's gonna well, take you for a ride. Rough <laughs> um, that is a rough day. Uh, trample, it takes. All right, so you take 14. Uh, did, did you fail your save again? <laughs> I'm so sorry. Uh, that trample seems way less than what I first got hit with. <laughs> that's because I believe I rolled Dookie on it. Yeah, two twos. I, I guess so. Yeah, yeah, I guess. Uh, well, cool. also, that first one. if you fail, you also, you also get extra damage. Didn't so get hit, so it's way more. Marcel takes. True, yeah. Did you add the Paladin's Aura to your save, Maya? Absolutely not. Oh, I did not. Oh, I didn't even realize I was still in it. Okay. Uh, I wasn't going to tell her and just let, let her take the damage. I'm just kidding. <laughs> nice. Paladin Aura. Okay, so yeah, she's an Aura that I guess I would add five, was it? Plus four, four. 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 Okay. Sorry, I'm so used to Rylan. I just I mean no, 19's good, good, good enough. 19's yeah. great. Uh okay, so it runs through uh bringing you with it, unfortunately. Oh, does it actually end uh, there? Am I getting in the in the path? I thought I was safe. You're safe. I'm just trying to <laughs> position it in a way that it's not like I mean, just I guess scoot, even scoot if it down. does hit me, yeah. 21 just doesn't hit, so I'm scoot, fine. Scoot but... down. Yeah, you're fine. Yeah. All right, Nenners, uh, how much do I take here? Uh, give me a sec. 14. Oh, no, maybe. Oh, okay, sorry. You're different because you're tied <sighs> yeah, to yeah. it. Uh, like, I'm going to take more, yeah. Irritatingly damaged by about the same amount, too. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> uh, you take 17 points of bludgeoning damage oh, well, uh, as you are dragged along. Those of you who made dexterity saves, watch as Corlin's getting bounced over like Ooh. behind as it tramples and just kind of rolls out a good five feet in front of it. So I'm going to say over here as it kind of turns around to square up with all of you. Um, and that is attack number one. Uh, it does not have its lance anymore because it dropped. That was it a legendary enraged. action, sir. Uh, that was a legendary action. That's the end of my turn. It's your turn. Sorry. <laughs> get I had a shield, so like, all right, I get to go. Nope. Get no <laughs> nonsense. All right. I, I had measurements, and you changed my whole damn world. That okay. was such a polite way. Of, that was your legendary action, sir. You are done. <laughs> Correct. And then if I move there, I will be within 30, which I think is the range I need for that. It is. Okay. And then you are going there. So I got all sorts of stuff happening. Actually, we'll put you over here. Not okay. Now, did you, did you Might as well forget you took 14 damage from the trample. You just the save. Oh, okay. save is just to make sure you don't get bunked in the head as it runs you over. Oh, okay. Cool. Nenner, uh, did you roll wisdom for uh, for Effie Thora? I just assumed I would fail, but uh, yeah, let me uh, get that right. <laughs> you got a small chance. No, uh, no I'm 100% no. on those fails, sir. Uh, no. Give me the damage. <laughs> sure, uh, it was, uh, I rolled a 20 yeah. 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 on yeah. radiant damage. Yep, I already it applied that. Kick ass. Uh, okay. <laughs> he took it. He didn't even roll. He, he didn't even like, roll. What? I was like, wait, I mean, who are we kidding? <laughs> Uh, I know this cool. boy. This boy did fire damage at one point, right? I'm not crazy. He did. He did breathe fire on you. He's done it a couple times. Is that a recharge ability, or am I making? It is a up? recharge ability. His uh, his hounds did it, and then he has not had the opportunity to recharge it yet. We'll see. Now I'm debating the efficacy, but sometimes you just burn spell slots just in case. Um, <clears throat> so I'm just gonna reach out and 
touch a paladin because I got I got to, it's part of the magic. It's not up to me. So I'm just gonna lay a hand <laughs> on just your like rib cage because that's basically where my hands are. <laughs> <laughs> I just so forge of this one I ever spent time in front of an anvil. Keep his stupid ass day. And cast protection from energy. You have fire resistance. Hey, because your ass you. keeps getting burned because your ass is also bad at deck saves. I'm so bad at deck saves. You're worse, but I'm worse at rolling it seems. <laughs> and then I'm my action good. surge. Yeah! Let's and go. with my second action, I'm going to reach out and uh, I can upcast this. Do I have upcast? I don't have up I can't upcast this. I only have level three slots. It's just kidding. Uh, so after just that protective energy goes up, I'm just going to like peek past the centaur at our poor nun. <laughs> uh, right. Well, now that that's taken care of, I got all this extra blood, see? So if you could just protect and heal the group here, just I'll burn what I got to. Just do it. And then just I am going to roll 4d8 and take me some damage. Life transference, let's go. And I'm going to burn one of my two sorcery points for Metamagic Adept to re-roll those two garbage-ass numbers. One of the two. Let's and go. And take more let's damage. Go. Oh, that was three. So I guess we'll take the three and the six. I'd rather have the six and the fourth. But that's nine plus 12 is a number, 21. So I take 21 <laughs> necrotic damage. Um, hold on, Matt, there we go. That should be 21. He gets as just, uh, points. yeah, and uh, 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 our, our nun, good sister, gets 42 health back. Holy shit. Okay. Fine. Yeah, you get, you get double what I lose. Um, so just essentially, just my armor will heat up and you will hear an echo, not as loud as the thaumaturgy of just that hammer on anvil as just reality gets reforged. <laughs> Hell yeah. And then with when I steam and it cools back down, you also steam, but in a way that makes you feel much better. Um, All right. Um, would, uh, would she know what's going on or no? Uh, I mean, I'm roll, roll, a, roll a religion check to or Arcana, whichever you prefer to see uh, okay. in the moment, understand what happened. It's a little right. tough. You're covered in dirt. You're wrapped up in a... <laughs> In a whip, it's it's a bad scene for you. But, uh, uh, my my bonus is on both are zero. Okay, let's roll religion. Uh, it 15. wouldn't be a disadvantage. Yeah, so fifteen. 15. Um, yeah, I think it's pretty. Like he clearly did some kind of magic thing. He you heard the hammer clang <laughs> and like an anvil. You felt yourself get healed. You see him steaming. You're steaming. Maybe you don't see him, but you can you can hear the sizzling. I'd imagine of yeah. dwarf. So uh, yeah. yeah. Um, she would say, "Thank you, Mister Brannigan." Now, if only can get me out of here. I don't One wish. step at a time. Here's a question for you. Can that whip be attacked in an effort to free people? You can certainly try. Okay. So I'm going to move with my bonus action, my spiritual weapon, over to where it can try and hit whips. Okay. So I don't know if a spiritual weapon can do like a like a targeted attack like that. It can attack if, if the whip is a target that you can aim at, then yeah. But if it if it would be like a called shot, probably it not. would be like a called shot because it's not. Like In it's... that case, we shall hit the centaur, and by that I mean we shall not hit the centaur <laughs> because some of us with a plus seven actually obey the three to one odds against us. Some of us play by the rules. Some of us don't spit in the face of God and probability. Anyway, uh, that's, that's, uh, that's I, I me. Have a, I have a feeling that was directed at my ass, but okay. No. All right, that's my turn. No, no, right. Action not. surge, healing and protecting. I feel good. I'm going to feel that's bad. I took 21 turn. damage, but it, it was for good reasons. Good talk. It's a great turn. Corlin, it is your turn. Okay, so. I'm assuming my situation has changed, and I don't have advantage on attacks right now. Uh, no, <laughs> you're <laughs> you're prone. Uh, you're you're prone to strains. Yeah. And anything you're attacking, I'd give you disadvantage because you're you're wrapped like you're mm -hmm. doing like flicks from the hip with your hands like tied to your sides. 
Yeah, that's okay, what restraint well, does anyway. You have yeah. you have disadvantage for All sure. Right, what, Bro, what are you the double disadvantage. Okay, I'd have to yeah triple at you if I could, but it, it would take <laughs> just <a> regular... <laughs> roll three dice, take the lowest. <laughs> okay, what are the logistics of me getting out of here? So you can get up. I'll say um, you can because he doesn't have you taught right now. He just dragged you, so uh -huh. you can you can get up if you want to get out of the strain. You'll have to beat his contested uh, strength check. Or oh, somehow man. deal with the whip, or teleport yourself out, or you know, if you have any kind of things like that. Mm -hmm. I mean, oh, I do have a teleport actually. All right, we're gonna we're gonna use the shadow the shadow monk stuff. Um, one second, number four. Let me link that. It is uh, where is it? It's on your sheet. I know, I know. <laughs> we are going to shadow step. Oh my god. 60 feet away. The light's not reaching him, right? Because there's a light spell somewhere out there. <laughs> there's, there's a couple light spells. Uh, um, yeah, so you're, are you in bright light? You're in the dim light of my light spell. Okay, yeah, yeah. But he could, he, uh, she can go this way. Oh, well, yeah. Well, yeah. You can, you can she, go away. I was just making sure she wasn't in bright light. Yeah, yeah. You, if you want to go, I'd say you'd have to go away from the, your team, but you can absolutely do that. There's well, more than enough shadows in the woods to teleport out. Okay. So yeah, we're gonna do that. Want to explain how you uh, <laughs> slip through this demonic yeah. or hellish whip that has uh, got you bound up? Okay. Well, what just happens here is, well, just because I think it, it'll be funny. Um, <laughs> let's say let's say she fucks up teleporting correctly, just for the narrative, because I think it's funny. Um, you just see, like, the whip is, like, bunched up around her, and then one second she, like, kind of... It looks like she ducks down for a moment, right? But then everything just falls down, and all that's left is her her hood. So and she left her hood behind? <laughs> by accident, yeah, and she's okay. gone. All right, as kind of does an Obi-Wan, and she's gone. The only thing left is the... I believe it's called a habit yeah. on uh, nuns. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, my lovely Catholic upbringing, which was all... Kindergarten. So anyway, here we go. Um, well done. So that I is that your action to that's my bonus. Bonus action. So you got an action, and I imagine movement. I uh, yeah. Okay. Yeah, actually, I can hit the guy in the face from here. I did the math earlier. Uh, if his face is twenty feet from the ground, uh, my maximum range is fifty-five. Okay. Go. <laughs> you did the so math. I can, I can actually. Yeah, yeah. I can actually dagger the guy from here. All right. Go for it. And so. Well, I think after she... Let me just uh, do a little more narrative. Um, after she teleports away, she'd be like, Sweet, sweet freedom. <laughs> and let's try daggering the man here. Come on, come on. And not at advantage, I'm assuming. Nope, the first one is nope. because of your shadow step. Correct. Oh, it is? No, 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 that's for melee. If it's, a, if it's the thrown weapon, it is melee. Thrown weapons are fun. They're melee attacks at range. Okay. <laughs> Why? Unless, unless you want to say other way. You're, I, no, I that's, the rules, that's the rules. That's the rules. I matter. just you that overrule is... me at any second. No, nope. right, then... no. I'll I'll try to stay in the. I I, may, I I stray from the path enough. I'll try to stay <laughs> on it when I can. Um, okay. And that is so dumb. Why is it throwing? Anyway, yeah. <laughs> and we're firing. Does a twenty-four hit? A twenty-four does I hit. I should have given you the advantage. Fuck you. I mean, you I guys have <laughs> Joe's heart of gold shone through even I when the jealousy was there. I want the team to see everyone to feel valuable, but fucking the defiance of probability is making me mad. Very okay. nice damage. Okay, and yep. And we have one more. That one is not an advantage. Why yeah. is the song so loud? Why not? I know. I was like, why is this one just like fucking... Uh, 19 loud. does not hit. Uh, 19, unfortunately, does not hit. Correct. Okay. Do I have any movement left? Well, let me see a shadow step. So I do actually have movement. Okay. Yes. Yep. That's just your bonus action. <clears throat> also, thank you, Anonymous, for the the gift subscription that that was given to Nenners, our wonderful DM. Thank you. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> Much appreciated. Thank you. Look, the hacker oh. community. The hacker no. community is uh, helping. An me out. anonymous <laughs> gifter. Yeah. All right. We are going to move a couple of feet this way, and uh, I I don't know if that's a good idea. We'll do that though. Uh, that is my turn. All right, uh, then it goes to, congratulations on being out. Moody, it is your turn. Oh, I was getting ready for an, anon uh, an anonymous, goddamn, a legendary action. 
An anonymous action. An anonymous action, baby. Uh, okay, so uh, he is. Oh God, no, he's not going to. God dang it! Everyone's gathered, gathered up around him. He's got that juicy paladin aura that was described just a second ago. All right, he was gonna fuck off for a bit, but he'll stay here and do some stabs. Uh, right. You got fire resist. You're fine. I do have fire resist. I'm fine. I just want to get some advantage because uh, I need it. <laughs> I, I, I'm uh, hearing you. I did have a D4, thanks to Flandy, so I'm going to try rolling on that 21, because I need a 22 to hit, right? Um, yeah, 22 to hit, correct. Okay, so good. You... So I'll like, there we go, I hit! <laughs> you betrayed nice. me! Thanks, Flandy! I will never forgive you! <laughs> All right. We need some hits in this bitch! <laughs> um, I am also going to uh, smite on this one, and it's going to be just the 3d12, or 3d6, oh, not 12. Okay. Oh my god. Uh, 3d8. God, I'm rolling hot garbage on these d8s. Uh, plus eight, uh, more radiant damage, uh, with the one stab that thing. And I'm oof, actually, no, no, I'll wait. I will wait. That's my turn. Uh, thank you very much. Thank you very much. Uh, thank, you, thank you very much. I'm actually, Excellent. hold on. If I shift, you're still going to be in range, right? Yes. Okay. Uh, I'm going to shift slightly. He, yes, yes. Okay. Yes, that's it. I'm done. Thank you. Excellent. Uh, it is going to use its legendary action at the moment after that. Uh, and who is... Okay. Uh, how tall... You're You're roughly the same height as the dwarf, right, uh, Effie? Uh, oh, yeah. A little taller. Just <laughs> a little bit taller. With the heels. With the heels, the heels just a little bit taller. Uh, okay. You're going to watch as he, like, just immediately whips it around and like does a meal kick uh, in your direction, but unfortunately the cleric is going to take the brunt of it because he's literally in front of you, and you're not really tall enough for him to, to kick you in the head from that particular uh, range. Um, so does a 24 hit you, sir? Yeah. Alright, so I'm going to need a strength save uh, oh, with this particular these. thing to see if, how far you get knocked back after he lands both hooves in your solar plexus region. Oof. I get a plus four, but that's not high enough, is it? No, it's 18. No. Roll a uh, two on the thing I'm good at. All right. So you're going to go, I believe it's 20 feet, and you take another 2d6 bludgeoning uh, as the cleric is forcibly removed from this particular situation. <laughs> Has a sick turn of the guy's just, just like, <laughs> yeah, you, hear, you hear the shot, and then he's just going airborne as he lands. Uh, so you take a total of 24 points of damage and are moved uh, 20 feet. Uh, oh boy. Uh, this way. As uh, you literally go sailing from that particular attack. All right. Does uh, that count as one instance or two instances of damage? Two, because the landing is where you take the bludgeoning. Gotcha. So I'm just going to make a dose of these. Cool. You still uh, have protection or resistance to fire damage. Hell yeah! <laughs> yes. Thank you! Uh, that's the end of his uh, just action. Uh, <laughs> Mercy. It Where is did I turn. end up? I'm, hold on, sorry. You're, uh, 20 feet. I think he had you here. Yep. Boop. Yeah, and you're prone. Just uh -oh. ass over the <laughs> Yep, yep. <laughs> uh... <laughs> Actually, he's gonna he's gonna use his cloak of boundless spirit again. Uh, so I'm gonna reduce some of that damage because uh, everyone's getting <laughs> fucking D eights, man. They don't like me very much. You take five less points to do. <laughs> uh, that's it. All right. Uh, yeah, mercy. It is your turn. Mercy. Mercy. That's what I'm calling you until I figure out how to say your name. Uh, all right. Yeah, she's gonna pretty much. Uh... Do pretty much two spins of her staff to like kind of uppercut its underside. Um, oh shit, uh, nice the 22 hits, right? They do, they both hit. Nice, sweet. Let's go. Uh, she's gonna spend two more force die. Uh, that needs to die. He's doing a lot of damage to people and causing all sorts of problems. Uh, <laughs> So Did that move. catch you off guard, Dennis? <laughs> uh, so she's going to do that, and then uh, she's going to follow that up by, like, kind of trying to kick at his shins twice. 
So I'm going to go ahead and roll those. Uh, okay, the obviously the second, fourth one misses, but the, that one hits. Okay. Lots okay. of radiant damage. Good stuff. Uh, yeah, I think our sun cells should get rid of that. Uh, but yeah, she's going to do that and then reposition herself because she's pretty much under him right now. She's going to back up a step. Uh, so move her back a little bit. Uh, also, because you know he he be breathing on us a lot, and that's bad. I got the high. Huh? Indeed it is. No good. And that's my turn. Indeed. Awesome. Good job. Uh, it is going to roll. Let's see if it gets its thing back. Cause it is time. I don't know why I even bothered. All right, so we are. Um, also, Nana's is it in my hag spider aura? Absolutely. Do you want me to fail the saving throw, or do you just want to roll the damage? I would love you to fail the saving I got for you. me. There you go. <laughs> Thank you. Why? Well, I look like you fucking up with that spider cannon. Okay. Oh my god. <laughs> um, yeah, that's 19 points of radiant it is, damage. It damage. absolutely is. It, it roars again, frustrated by the hags that it cannot seem to target. Um, uh, but it is... Uh, uh, oh, you guys are kind of... Uh, uh, I know that uh, face. That's the Menners is plotting face. Menners is plotting. Uh, <laughs> he is going to kind of adjust himself a little bit and then try to mule kick the wizard, which he tried to do initially. Uh, it's a 17 hits. Um, ooh. Uh, let me roll to see if it gets my last duplicate. Let's go. As let's go. As the duplicate gets deleted, as mirror image has obviously uh, <laughs> paid for itself at this point. Uh, and again, with that kind of level of frustration, it is going to. Uh, well, he's kind of in range too. Uh, can't move that far. Yeah, it's just gonna uh, lash out. It's gonna lash out at the paladin first. And then oh, yeah, that'll hit. the cleric in the back, which he misses, obviously. Uh, Barb Lash. It's 10 All slashing right. damage, but uh, you're going to need to make another save as it is going to try to do the same thing it did to, to uh, your monk friend as it's, oh, it oh, wraps God. around and he's trying to get it to like sink in and like uh, get taut so it can restrain you. Um, that is, can yes. I have advantage because Nubs is here? If you can get a snore, I'll give you advantage. Oh, damn it. No. He's very awake. Okay. <laughs> no, no, you're good. Uh, all right, so let me go roll that for you. Uh, athletics check? Yes, okay. It's contestant notice. Can you roll first so I can see what I'm up against? Sure, you got a 13. You got to beat a 13. I rolled a fucking six. Ah. What? I rolled a three. <laughs> Take that. Someone pray for me. No, oh, my no, God. No, no. Uh, you awarded me an inspiration for something. I don't remember what. What was the die size of that inspiration? Uh, I'm pretty sure it was a D4. Well. <laughs> My, how many of those do you have? Okay, never mind. doesn't matter. You need it. We're tied. Let's roll again. You are not. Oh. Flandy. Let's go. Oh, oh. Yeah. And because Hell of that, yeah. I'm going to take nice. food on a ride. Uh, she's Let's good. go. <laughs> oh, my God. That's awesome. Um, all right. It's going to go. Okay. It's going to run back this way, dragging you with it. It's going to use half its movement speed because it's <laughs> in shitty uh, thingies. Um, um, so you're... Do they get advantage attacks on it or no? Yes, absolutely. Uh, Any uh, um... no. okay. <laughs> no. Nope. Oh, uh, it does not go. Okay, Sentinel actually hit. Good job. <laughs> okay, go you are right. cash money with those Sentinels. You're yes, like 50 yes. 50 on yeah. everything else, but when it comes to Sentinel, she is the, the protector. Every time, you, baby. You watch it goes to go, but it does not. You do not take any of that extra damage. It is rounded, uh, rooted where it is. It's the end of its turn, Effie. It is yours. Which I feel like it wraps around him, and he's like, oh shit. And then like topples <laughs> over, and then gets dragged like two inches. <laughs> it's like, oh jeez. <laughs> Just stuck on the ground in front of everyone. Yeah. Uh, bats. Yeah, I think. Gosh, I think. Effie's recognizing how ridiculous it is to be like, 
going up to this massive wall of hit points with the dagger and just being like, eee. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I think that, yeah, I think Effie is going to get closer uh, and try to talk to the demon centaur. I beg your pardon? Um, and Effie is going to say, um, gosh, actually, can Effie first make some sort of check to see if this is like a demon centaur, a devil centaur, just a general fiend centaur? Should I be speaking infernal or abyssal right now? When uh, give me an intelligence talk? check. It's going to be a real low DC, though. So, Okay. Roll a d20 plus my intelligence mod. My religion wouldn't have anything to help with this. <laughs> uh, you could do religion or um, or history, whichever you prefer. I'm proficient or, yeah. in both of them. So yep. d20 plus 10. 15. Okay. Uh, again, DC is low. It's dealing with hellhounds. It was it was kind of dealing like helping them out. It, the rage is a little unhellishly characteristic, but you're pretty sure this is a devil. Infernal. Um, yep. Yeah, and I will uh, just walk up and say, um, yeah, I guess um, I'm trying to get like information about. What is ahead of us? This person seems like the first like line of defense, but like obviously it feels like obviously to Effie that like there's somebody else like really pulling the strings if we're meeting this person first out of the gate. Uh, so I think she's going to like step forward and say, um, Well, you're quite interesting, aren't you? Who's in charge here? And just try to spark up a conversation while the hags are uh, searing this devil alive. <laughs> Roll me a, a persuasion, I'm assuming. Um, whatever social angle you're going for, and it's appropriate for your narrative. Yeah, um, I think it's a persuasion check. I think I got this advantage on it. Cause like this isn't I'm <laughs> you're not you're not even friends. I mean like, like this is yeah. yeah. I it's I'm just trying to get this thing talking a little bit in a way that isn't screams. Uh so that's a it's seventeen also raging, right? <laughs> yeah. It's absolutely raging. I'm trying to get some like sort of information out of it and getting it talking seems like a way to go. Um, I doubt that it's probably gonna work the first time around, but we're here. Uh, oh, wow. Yeah, it's a... Uh, nice charisma it, save. Yeah, uh, pretty pretty awesome. If it wasn't raging, it would have had not advantage, or not disadvantage. Um, oh, so it has this advantage because it's raging. Oh, I love yeah. it. Thank you, yeah, Nether. That's, that's on yeah. um, but it's okay. not going to give you necessarily the information you want, but it's just like you who is beneath me. Why should I divulge anything to you? That don't sound uh, like Barry White, man. It was, um, because I can't do, if I did Barry White, you think I'd work in IT? <laughs> 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 Lots of people what can you would all be at my mansion at a dope ass table. We'd have, this would be amazing. <laughs> then he shoots the Barry White of our hearts. Um, Effie hears the Barry White bass in the voice, uh, and just like a little shiver goes up the spine. She hides it well, though, because of the higher. <laughs> <laughs> because of the higher persuasion check. Um, and that's her turn. That's all. Gosh, that's awesome. Um, I love it. I love it. Brannigan. All right. Well, I'm going to stand up for half my move. You're looking and... at some tree canopy through some moonlight right now. <laughs> oh. Back back, your head hurts a little bit, but you're, you're, you're all right. <laughs> Just like using a tree for support and like on the hammer. I'm in heavy ass armor. Just... Oh, okay. Oh. 
and then uh, just I'll move, I guess, 10 feet, because half my move would be 12 and a half feet. So we'll just, <laughs> we'll just round up on that to 15. <laughs> oh, God. Yep, and that's fine. Uh, <clears throat> bonus action, I'm going to knock down the turn counter I got going, and then do a spiritual weapon. Hey! Nice. That hits! Nine nice. force damage. Let's force go. Damage. Okay, yep. Another... And after that ghostly hammer hits, a couple more hammers are coming. And... Let's go! Damn! So for 17 oh, yeah. and 22. And then I'm going to use one of my uses of Unleash Incarnation, which just says that I get one additional attack as part of my attack action. A number of times a day equal to my con mod. So I got a handful of these. And so that hammer's coming one more time. Come on, hammer! Hey, yes! 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 Don't call yeah. it a comeback. All you, all you bleeding people made me waste my action surge or I'd hit him three more times. <laughs> <laughs> no, it was a that solid was use of action surge. I'm glad everyone's here. okay. But it's an additional 20, so... but. Math. <laughs> Let's go. Uh, nine and... rolls Just too. hammering that the shit sick. out of this man. Damn. Yeah, that is... I am Let's above go. you. Hammer, 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 hammer. Yeah. Hammer, hammer, hammer. Back, hammer, back, hammer. The last back, hammer, hammer, hammer hits, back. and you hear from him, Asmodeus, forgive me. And he begins to kind of glow. You can add in how you want to do the fatal blow on this, but based on what you saw with the dogs, it's probably one of GTFO, but... Uh, well, I don't know how big his, his aura is, but uh, I'm far enough back, but uh, I don't think I'm going to check some wording on whether I can do a thing. The Echo has, I can move the Echo, but I don't think the Echo can grab anybody to move them. Do we have a chance to get out of the way, or is it very much like... You can all burn your reactions to see if you can move your maximum movement rate, I'll give you. Um, as this is all kind of a very obvious thing, if you have a reaction up, if you don't, you're going to get baked. If at all possible, I would have my Echo pull Effie back, but I don't think it's possible. Are they uh, corporeal in that kind of way? I mean, they can hit people. Yeah, they have the ghostly hammer. You know, you could argue that. The only thing it gives me is their AC, their one hit point, and that they use my saves. Hmm. Oh, you yeah, know what? I might actually stay in corporate. Hold on. It says they're translucent. Mm. Yeah, I mean, there's, there's some frogs that are translucent. Magical translucent. That's it. That's what I get. Roll me a d20, sir. You get above D20. it, you get to do what you want. If you hey. get below it, uh, hey. he just hey. says hey. translucent. Hey. There you are, sir. Let's go. So how far, whatever movement is appropriate, and it's going to... It can move that. 30 and then halved. Um, <laughs> does it have a better movement rate than you? <laughs> it does. <laughs> <laughs> that has no mass. Um, oh, my goodness. That's what's slowing down the dwarves. Not their so the gray ghostly image of Brad will step out. Uh, we might walk out, boy. <laughs> Just pull you back, assuming you're willing. Yeah, I think that, like... I think that Effie is just like laser focused in like on this uh centaur and then like out of nowhere a translucent hook and uh she gets like a uh, hook yanked off of stage uh right before an explosion happens. Yeah, so I'll move there and you would be right in front of it. Um real brand again can't move any further. But as far as to how it goes, it's ghost hammer, hammer back, hammer back, and the third one will sail past just to do the fun you missed. Nah, then on its way back, it just knocks his head sideways back on its way back to my hand. Yes. Classic cool. television. And then it begins the kind of detonation phase. Uh yeah, those can I use a bonus action? Or is it very much like reaction reaction time? This is a real this is you reacting like it's not That's fine. You're you yeah, so yeah. Um, but yeah, I know. Have, I'm on, just, just that. You could use it to do your maximum regular movement, non dash. It, it is a 30 foot aura in ter or radius in terms of an explosion. So, Whew, those that of you who are helpful within, to move you. Yeah. Yeah. Um, well, they could, if you still have your reaction, you can run. If you don't, let me know and you're going to take some fire damage. Oh, I suppose well, I do uh, myself. Marissa will use her reaction to Sentinel, so. She's okay, it. so she's taking that. Well, you, you get to do a deck save Oops. as well. So give me a DC 18 oh, deck okay. save. Oh, you're good, Maya. You're good. What? 
You're good. Give me a dexterity save to see if you can dodge some of the fiery chunks of demon nah. centaur that are coming your way. <laughs> oh boy. Excellent. That is more than enough of what you needed. Um, <laughs> Uh, everyone else who I assume was able to make it out, so they don't have to save. Uh, so that's half. You take uh, Western Mathbed 19 points of damage. Um, uh, my if you're a monk, you should you have, have evasion. evasion. Yeah, you yeah. Right. take nothing. So you, you take, take nothing. You don't take yep. nothing. That's a double negative. So I don't know what that means, but you don't you take don't any damage take in this particular. Nothing. Nice, he says. Uh... Yeah, she's just gonna like fucking do a weird somersault and chunk of flaming meat just goes past. <laughs> she goes <her> flying <laughs> by. Uh, anyone else who got out of it, you, you now just see kind of the smoldering lower half crater of Whoa. the centaur, which now just falls over. Not to indulge in too much fondue here, but could I use this reaction movement to drag Nuri with me? At half her speed, Nuri? if you can get a total of 30 away. You can I don't get... think I can, but it is no, absolutely I think... what I would try to do. <laughs> okay. I imagine I'm cooked. That's not I, the point. I, anyone I know. Who's hit, hit That's saved. not the point. I'm. I manners, there's no there's no yeah, give way. me a dexterity save. Come on. <laughs> no, we're good. I, I failed know. every single wisdom save Anita gave me. You can give me this one. <laughs> it's a disadvantage because I'm restrained by the whip. That's why I'm like, you oh, need me to roll you. Oh, I'm restrained. I forgot about yeah, that. Yeah, because I was on the whip. That's why I was like, the only way I can get out is if Nutter says I can get a bonus action. Because I have nice uh, ways to get out of there. But he the said no. And I was like, just roll it, Foos. I'm gonna, I'm gonna. Let, let Nenez enjoy this. How bad she was fucked? Uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Unfortunately, it's 50 like, full 38. Um, the only way. I mean, it's fire damage, so thankfully it's halved because yeah. of the spell that's on me. If you're yeah. strong enough physically, you might be able to yeet him out of there, but I don't know like what that looks like. Strong. <laughs> How strong I mean, are you? I do have my movement. It's just like I couldn't. I don't have to like break If I were to quantify it then... numerically, 21. <laughs> that is pretty strong. How much would you say your uh, Pally weighs? Uh, I think Woody weighs like 170 or something. He is elf. <laughs> yeah, elf. he's 165. <laughs> I mean, you want to give me like a strength roll? If he gets above, uh, I'll say an 18, you could eat him out, but you would obviously not be able to save so you're taking all of that i i mean i'm pretty sure i can't anyway so is it strength or athletic your choice okay netters could you please give me just one last chance to do some real <laughs> nah, quick you, it is we... it is a bonus action but actually no it's, well no it could couldn't be actually hold on i'm just gonna double check something it might be an Jeez. actual reaction hold on, i'm cheesing help help me <laughs> i mean technically you just, yeah. There's not like you're not like tied in place. You're just tied up. I just pick you up, tied up. <laughs> yep. Okay, yeah. And threw you, no, but didn't, right. it didn't well, throw you. If, if I first move my half movement and Moody is right next to where Brannigan is now, is thirteen enough to throw them the remaining distance? No, because it, it was it was to get like like you got the heat. It just wasn't enough. Right, right, like it was yeah, like yeah, ten yeah. feet. Right. You land and you yeah. both take. Unfortunately, the full. Day. It was a good try. It was a great try. Um, well, we both take half, so that's fine. We both take half. Yes. Oh, because they resisted the fire. I was like, yeah. how the hell yeah. did you get the yeah. flambéed paladin to take less? Good job. Um, all right. <laughs> and with that, obviously, combat ends as the last foe on the ground is just a cratering lower half of a centaur. But um, the rest of you are a little singed. Um, the cart's a little singed, but not terribly damaged. The horses don't seem to be too bothered. Um, but it is around the time we would end, so I think it's not a bad idea. Unless anybody had to say something in the last few seconds. Oh, no, Effie just immediately runs back to the horses, praying that they haven't spooked and that she doesn't have to walk the rest of the way. <laughs> um, but, okay. yeah, we're, You're we're relieved great. to see that the horses are... Uh, I mean, they're a little kind of like, what was that? But... <laughs> They have a lot more, I guess, uh, they're a lot more calm than, I guess, the average horse would possibly be in all of this. Uh, but that all being said, we'll end it here. We'll start again in the aftermath of the combat um, and go from there with the prone paladin and the... Uh, I'm not prone. I mean, I am. I'm sure. You're, you're prone now. No, you're prone, Amber, <laughs> because he threw I'm you. Prone. didn't get you far oh, enough. No. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, oh, hold on. Over to it's untie you. Yes. Did the whip not disappear with the devil? No, the whip is still very much around your paladin. Oh, 
Awesome. <laughs> Loot. Uh, we'll figure it out. <laughs> Sounds good. <laughs> oh my god. Um, uh, but anyway, yeah, we'll catch you next Wednesday. Uh, when I, yes. I need, oh, I'm finding someone to raid. Ah. Okay, hold on. Give me some time. Oh, okay. if you don't mind. Please oh, you're, you're good. You're good. So anyway, uh, <laughs> next Wednesday, hopefully you guys make it to the keep. And we can start the adventure proper at that point. But I'm very excited. You guys are doing well. I'm honestly very impressed at how well you guys all fight. I mean... You know, when I, we hit. <laughs> I burned some resources. Yeah. yeah. I mean, yeah, some resources were burnt, but you, you you definitely chose to face a fight that maybe you didn't have to, and you did pretty uh, I well. I mean, somebody chose to like, like, fight where maybe we didn't have to. Crazy. Hold on. We didn't have to fight this? No, it was very much a chase we could have chased away cha from. Yeah, the, the pilot wasn't going full tilt. I was asking her, are you going 100% full tilt? No was the answer. So no. you could have gotten to a point where you could have no, outrun it. This is 100% the wizard who wanted to fight <laughs> Well, yeah. also, hold on. The part of the like not going full time. I'm not. That is not. Yeah, cool. hand, handling I'm becomes stoked. an issue. Not, obviously, exactly. I'm not uh, like yelling at anybody. I'm just saying, yeah. like, the reason I'm he so wasn't was because, because it was like I'm not trying to lose teammates by by just going yeah as fast yeah. as we possibly can. Yeah, yeah, turning right. at yeah. max speed is tough. We right. were not outrunning that. We could have. That I believed in us. <laughs> I you guys did us. so well because if you were to try to outrun it and the dogs caught up to you. If it jumped in the carriage, it has to detonate. So if you oh. hit it, you would all be at like a disadvantage to save from it detonating in the carriage. Um, Maybe, yeah, there's all kinds but... of nasty stuff that could have happened. But you guys, like I'm saying, oh. like you evaded a lot of stuff. Our resident wizard would have been like, "Oh, there's six hellhounds. I guess cone of cold smoke screen goodbye." <laughs> yeah, but cone of cold. In a, like if you fought it while you were moving, that was the idea, right? St st standing still, obviously, much better chance of winning. But if you're in a moving carriage, then all those things become more dangerous. Um, so it was good awesome. Call. Yeah. Because you can't really cut a cold without like nailing half your <laughs> team or the cart. You went off the back of the carriage. Yeah. Just, uh, <laughs> yeah. Now you're exposed to the whip wielding maniac behind you. Yeah, but so, that's yeah, why there's... the dwarf with the shield is there to be a dwarf with the shield. <laughs> we all boy. have our role. Yeah. But congratulations. Uh, we. We are ready to go raid uh, Sleepless Nights, uh, spelled as in, uh, you know, K-N-I-G-H-T, Nights. Proper Nights. Uh, so let's go say hi to them, and uh, everyone else have a wonderful night. And as per usual, thanks for being here. And Nunners, our DM, thank you for being awesome and dealing with our shenanigans and making it an awesome thing for us. So we're going to go oh, now. Yeah. I'm more than happy to fail some saves from you guys. Have a good night. <laughs> <laughs> good night. <laughs> Bye. Yeah. Bye.
Thank you.